All right. All right, my friends, we are finally live. How are you all? Henry, it's good to see you as always, my friend. For you that don't know me, I am David, your tropical shirt wearing host. Yes, I am the smartest person in the whole entire world. I am an expert on everything. And if you don't believe me, just ask me. I will tell you and give myself a full recommendation. So, how is everybody today? I'm trying to get set up here and running a couple minutes behind. I've been, uh, the Thursday, April the 11th. It's cold in Arkansas. It's uh, 60 degrees, cold, wet, and rainy-ish. So, my brother from another mother is here. Whoop, whoop. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just trying to maintain till I get up out of here. I'm up to five, but at least my unboxing already. Well, that's good. It's weird. So you excited about getting out of here? Oh, most definitely. Hello, Henry. Henry is in the house. Thank you for being here, Henry. Thank you for the thumbs up. Uh, I am tropical shirt wearing Dave, if I didn't already say that. I mean, I, Ronald and I are twins. So. <laughs> oh, man. So uh, how many boxes are you shipping to the Philippines? Well, I managed to get away with five right now, so that's all I'm going to be able to do. I'm running out of stuff to put in there for sure. Kiko's been in the house, Kiko. I've dropped the link there if you want to come up into the panel. Uh, what up, Kiko? He's wanting to know if you got your grill yet, man. Monday, she's going to test me again. So you get your new grill on Monday? Yeah, for another fitting. Okay, okay. I'm with you. Are you I excited have about that? Are you, are you pretty ready? Pretty Hey, wait a minute. If, uh, uh, how can uh, you get implants in, in 24 hours when I mean, you can't get any dentures in three, four weeks? I don't understand that either. Somebody was, um, a friend of mine was talking to me about that the other day. And it's, I don't understand that either. I mean, granted, maybe the, uh, the implant. <laughs> My killer dog is going to chew up the neighbors. I uh, hear. Hey, knock it off. I'm going to eat you. You got it? Joe's in the house. Joe, how are you? Woo, woo. What up, Joe? What, what I think, Ronald, is this. I think they already have the teeth pre-made. So they can literally just drill a hole and put them in. Cut your gums, drill a hole, put them in. Because they're already pre-made. They're already there. Well, yeah, the teeth are, but the shape of your mouth is. So you have to make the the the, the, uh, the gums the shape of your your face, your gums. Yeah, you, you wouldn't and think you, every one would be the same size, right? Right. Yeah, and you have to pick the teeth out that you want, so they don't come already made. Oh, there you go. That's a good point. And I'm like, why is it taking so long? Because you know how it is. They mad. Yeah, because you know, I can take my ball and go home because you, know, you can do it in 24 hours. We've been making people wait for weeks. Yeah, it is kind of weird, isn't it? Big time. Yeah, I don't know. three in the house. Baby. Thank you for the thumbs up, shout out and all that good stuff. Laura, like exciting news. Laura, like got a promotion, so she's not here. Oh, so, good. Yeah, she got promoted and demoted at the same time. Congrats. Uh, she got a promotion at work and demoted off of the guest host check. I kicked her out of here and said, you're not doing your weight. You're not contributing. You're out of here. Yeah. 
What? She ain't she ain't upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she oh. has to work a new shift, so she's working now. So but but that's okay. She's excited. Mo money, mo money, mo money. Yeah. You know, you know, if we keep going, we might be able to buy a robot one day. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but, uh, so how you been, David? I heard of some, uh, my boy, Craig, is over there. He just got back from the hospital. He put two stents in him. Craig? Yeah, down in uh, Mississippi. Australia. No, no. Mississippi, Mississippi Craig. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, he, well, we all up in the man cave. Kiko know what the man cave is. Kiko that is a cave. Kiko is the man cave. <laughs> He's a cave man. Cave man. <laughs> oh, I, I'm kind of beat up this week, actually. I, I tweaked my back last week, so I went to the doctor, and of course, all they can do is give you muscle relaxers. Yeah. And uh, I've been sucking down muscle relaxers like the cough drops. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, mm. but that's okay it's starting to get a little better you know a lot of people don't know this but I have this weird fear um, Ronald I, I really do I have this fear of falling asleep unintentionally mm. and, and this is part of my, my PTSD because when my coma happened I fell asleep unintentionally you know what I mean mm -hmm. and so one thing David doesn't do is accidentally fall asleep. Um, the muscles you relaxers make it damn hard. <laughs> I know that's right. I David used to give me those things, man. I was like, I ain't nothing relaxed up in here. Mm -hmm. I try to I try to hit the skins. I couldn't get no grease. I was like, oh, you done relax everything. You know, I can't Tim, get no <laughs> Yeah. Tim is in the house, my friend. Everybody say, hey to Tim, Tim, Tim. What's up, Tim? He goes, well, we see it hasn't affected you at all. <laughs> yeah. Tim is saying hi to everybody. I did drop the link. Everybody wants to join us. Man, I talked to Jack a little earlier. What are you up to? Um, he's, he's struggling. Oh. Um, you know, uh, he didn't know if he's going to make it for sure or not because he was so tired and wasn't feeling uh, the greatest. So... But he told me that he's going to pop in. So uh, I've been trying to encourage him. And maybe it's time for him to come back to the States. You know. Uh, yeah. So, you know, sometimes uh, the Philippines is good and healthy for you. And sometimes it's not. So. Well, but, you know, his particulars ain't the, the, good, the best. Well, that's my point, uh, Ronald. That's my point. For him, the way uh, things are going in the situation, I, I I told him I said maybe you know coming back and resetting and and you know um, might not be a bad thing. Nope. So, but I don't know. What do I know? I don't know anything. No. What we we'll say we'll find out when he, when he fishes it all out. Yeah, we just want the best. You know, um, we always just want the uh, the best for everybody. Of course. Tim says, I used to take muscle relaxers that would put me into sleep in less than 10 minutes. Yeah, you know, uh, if I take enough of them, I guess you go to sleep forever. But, you know, Love Boat Cruise with Angie. Angie, you got a new, did you change the, the name of your channel? And, hey, by while I'm thinking of it, don't forget a thumbs up. But also, if you have anything you want to drop or share, just let me know. And if you don't have a, a blue wrench, let me know. So, but did you change your channel, Angie? Um, or am I thinking of somebody else? Dog might want to wake you up. Yeah, our dog. We have two wiener dogs that we we worship, or and sadly they know it. And uh, this week, Lorelai has changed her hours, right? And so the dogs are very, very, very unhappy because. It's really weird. I know the dogs can't tell the time by a clock, right? They can't they can't look up and go, it's five o'clock. But they know within a few minutes when Lorelai's supposed to be home from work. 
Her ass is late. What's that? The dog saying her ass is late. They do. They know this. And I don't know how they know this, but they know this. And so the, the you know, today's Thursday, so this is her fourth day on the new shift. Um and their last night. So the first night, all they did is stay by the, the door where she comes in waiting for her oh, until she got in. Wow. And the second night, I coast him into the bedroom, and they sat by the door in the bedroom waiting. Last night, they got on the edge of the bed waiting. So they're starting to get used to the fact that she's uh, not here and coming in later. But it's really weird how, how they know what time she comes home. Well, Kiko, I heard something. I might be mistaken, but you know. I'm not, I'm not a scientist, but I play one on TV. The dogs understand the magnetic field around the Earth, so they know what certain times of the magnetic field is whenever it is. They know. I, I would agree with you, Ronald. I, I think that's what it is. Dogs are so good at um, putting two and two together, so to speak, right? Right? No, it uh, ain't so, Kiko. I'm making her moderator. Right, I gave you a blue wrench there. I love both. So, but I think dogs are really going to put two together. So if they recognize the magnetic field feels like this, mm -hmm. when Lorelai comes home, they know that when it starts to feel like this, she should be home. They may not yeah. know it's 5 o'clock, but they know that there's a correlation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like when they go poop and you see dogs spin around in a circle or keep going around and around to mm -hmm. find a spot. LaBote, I did give you a wrench if you want to want to drop anything there. And everybody uh, say hi to LoveBoat and go check out their channel. They must yeah, be you, one cruising channels. We love to cruise. Yeah, you can't mess with those flat earth dogs. They have no frequency at all. They don't care. <laughs> Henry's a thing. Oh, yeah. Henry's been getting all kinds of rains and tornadoes where he is. He's oh, getting, gee. Yeah, he, he's been getting hammered. I've been watching your weather. So, uh, mm. Jim says that his dog could hear a strange noise from my car and would be waiting. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, you're right. The uh, flat earth for doggies. We're going to talk that? about flat earth one of these days. Yeah, that's why they man's best friend because they know when you're having a heart attack, that frequency, the same thing. Well, I'm going to tell you this, and and this is no bullshit, and I'm just going to tell you. When I was at my sickest after I got out of my coma and I came home, Laura, like we got our first dog a couple of months before my coma, um, and and but when I got home, those dogs, James is in the house. Everybody say hello to James. What's up, James? Long time no see. And, and and when I was still having heart problems, and I the dogs would wake me up without question. They slept and they would get on me. Lily and Daisy both would have, they have different ways that they wake me up, but they would wake me up. They would wake Lorelai up because of whatever I'm going through, you know, medically. And when I was having my nightmares, my night terrors, they were really good about waking me up during those. I mean, I'm just telling you. They, they know. <laughs> I'm telling you. Use a different card and I could surprise the dogs, yes. You know, I got a friend who's a police officer, right? And it's really funny because <laughs> I gotta be careful, but Every time he would come over in his uniform, man, the dogs didn't like that. But if he came over in his regular clothes, they didn't mind. But they didn't like the uniform for some reason. James says, the dog has a keen sense of hearing and smell, which allows them to pick up on clues that you indicate upon implementing your return, such as the sound of your car, footsteps, the unique scent. Maybe the news comes on, and so they associate one with the other. Mm -hmm. Dogs are creatures of routine, so they may also pick up on time of day and anticipate your needs based on past patterns. Yeah, I mean, they're a lot smarter than we think. That's why I ain't got no cat. 
my cats know the sound of my white beagle and will wait at the door when she comes home. Yeah. I had a cat when I married Lorelai, and the cat would never let me pet it. I mean, in my cat, but it, wouldn't, it, go. it just wouldn't let me pet it. It would always sit about six feet from me and just stare at me. You know, but when Lorelai and I got married, uh, the cat liked her. So. Some experts also believe that dogs may have an intuitive understanding of the passage of time. Overall, while the exact mechanism not fully understood, it is clear the dog are remarkably attuned. I agree. Is everybody saying hello to the Love Boat crew? She's new to the, new to the group. The Love Boat. The Love Boat. Anybody on here remember that show besides Ronald and I because we're old? Yeah, I know half of them do. To their owners, comings and goings, yeah. So, dogs are weird, but they would. They would, uh, you know, I'm telling you, I would be having night terrors after my coma. And, and Daisy and Lily would, would, would wake me up. It was really weird, you know. Not just dogs. I mean, cats too, but mostly animals, yeah. they, they all do it. They all do it. They're smarter than we think, or or maybe we're not as smart as we think we are. <laughs> yeah, you're calling them animals dumb. I ain't seen a dumb animal yet. Except a, a rat, they dumb. <laughs> <'Cause> yeah. <laughs> well, they're disgusting, but they're smart too, though. If you watch them, you know. But 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 dogs, our dogs, the dogs in general. I, I told some, you know, somebody on one of our live streams. I think it was Kiko, who said something one time. The smartest person in the room is to get that is the person who can get somebody else to give them money for for nothing, right? Yeah. I don't know if it was you, Ronald, or Kiko. I remember one of you guys saying that, something like that. That sounded like Professor Kiko. Yeah. And I've always thought about that. And our dogs, another way, our dogs want for nothing. They're the smartest people that live in this house. They. I work for my dogs, you know. Jack Jones sings a theme song for the Love Boat. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know it was Jack Jones. I didn't either. I wonder why they don't try to make a remake of the Love Boat. Maybe it wouldn't work these days. They did already. Ah, the Love Boat is hosting an Alaskan cruise in September. September is oh. our wedding anniversary. We like to go on cruises on our wedding anniversary month around in there. So, uh, but September, Alaska, you better bring your jacket. <laughs> Joe is saying hello to Tim. Everybody say hello to everybody. Make friends, be friends. But Kiko, I thought it was you, though, my friend. I really do, Kiko. I thought it was you. Okay, damn sure it wasn't me. I mean, it really was. I think it, I really believe it was Kiko. Uh, I'm not that smart. Three or four or five months ago. Kiko. I think it was Kiko, because when we on the subject of uh, 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 e-begging? Yes, yeah, exactly, yeah. We're talking about e-begging. Mm -hmm. So the Love Boat says they got a beagle named Rudy. Our dogs are Daisy and Lily, and they are super wiener dogs. Scotty. Oh, Rudy. Oh, Scotty. How are things in the Philippines for you, Scotty? Scotty's hanging out in the Philippines, if you didn't know. Scotty B. Scotty B. He said, where is he at? Is up in Mindanao? Scotty, where are you hanging out at? Yeah, I think he, he was saying Mindanao, but I can't remember. Smart is not my area of expertise. Well, <laughs> I believe that. James sent me a link about, all right, let me pull that up, James. Uh, the few of the Love Boat uh, cast members are still alive. No, they they, they, they uh, castaways. <laughs> Did you send it to me a messenger, James? Where'd you send it to me at? Let me read his statement. Uh, messenger, okay. I don't have anything from messenger on you yet from you. 
James. Oh, Scotty P, I'm missing that hot, damn hot. All right, I'm in freezing over here. San Pedro. Man, I tell you. This mask, what is it right now? Whoa, I can't even see it. Scotty, man, I know. It was, it's 50 something degrees here. I hate the freaking cold. My God. You know, the best thing about the Philippines is the heat. I like the heat. I love the heat. I'm the same way. My brother and I are the same way. Put us in a hot environment. As long as we got a little bit of air current, we're good. Mm hmm. Oh, he's over in San Pedro. Mm hmm. Oh, isn't there a song about San Pedro? Come on, what's that song? Um, the Spanish lullaby. Isn't that Madonna? That's it. Spanish lullaby with San Pedro, not San Pedro. I knew you guys are smart. I keep telling more why you guys are smart. We just old. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Well, James, I haven't got anything from you yet in Messenger. Ginger or Marianne? All right, first question. Ginger or Marianne? Who would you guys prefer? One for Marianne, or sorry, one for Ginger, two for Marianne. And if you had to pick one of those two women, Mrs. Al is not number three. Get Well, I guess some of you old guys might like Mrs. Al. So, so who would you prefer? Ronald, how about you? You got a preference? I'm already in there. I'm with the old cats. <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't really care for either one of them, to be honest. Yeah, but Mary Ann is sweet and wholesome country girl, while well, Ginger's just a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I would guess I would probably, I don't know. I think it depends on what you were, you know, Kiko. You actually have to ask us. Yeah, well, not for Dennis. We know which one Dennis wants. What's yeah. up, Baconator? How are you, Dennis? Last week has been like being inside an air fryer or a convection oven. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Where, any room left? <laughs> it looks like everybody likes Mary Ann better. Scott of likes course. Ann. Tim likes Mary Ann. Henry likes Mary Ann. You like Mary Ann. Kiko mm -hmm. likes Mary Ann. Scotty likes or three with all the money. See, Scotty's thinking, he's, he's thinking with the right brain the right head he's thinking mrs howe has all the money so yeah and she's gonna die in a few years so yeah, yeah but you know just the thought of having to service her ass <laughs> um, <laughs> well you just take a whole bunch of those blue pills and drink a little bit and you'll be all right drink a lot of bit <laughs> speaking of ho the isle of burden Alberta. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice. Are you talking about Dennis? <laughs> I got you. I got your thing, James. Let me see what you sent me. Love boat cast. Where are they now? Is any? Let's see. I'm trying to see if anybody knows which ones are alive. This tells us. Ow, Tim say it's 42 Celsius. Ouch! I be loving it. That's Africa. <laughs> Oh, yeah. The love boat. I always like that right. guest stars. That was the best part of it. All right. 42 Celsius. Even standing in front of the fan, it was hot. Mm, 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 mm. And yeah, you and know, Scott's enjoying the warm weather of the Philippines. I'm loving it. The professor used to live here. Yes. David, did you know the professor used to live in Washington State? Yeah. Did I know that you're leaving the Washington State? Is that what you asked? No, I said that you know that, that the professor, the professor from Gilligan's Island lived on, on, on Bainbridge Island. No, I didn't know that. Yep. He lived here, died here, and along with Bruce Lee. Wow. 
Love Boat says, I'm a Marianne, but 60. They <laughs> <laughs> found it, uh, James. I got it. Jolly Bee or McDonald's? There you go. That's a good one. What do you guys think? One for Jolly Bee, two for McDonald's. And the other question is, how do you explain a Jolly Bee to Americans who's never heard or seen or thought of what a Jolly Bee is? How do you explain that? to people, hmm. Americans. Well, if I had my choice, I'd take Jollibee over McDonald's. Why? Because McDonald's food is garbage. Yeah. I see that pink know. slime. I see what they do with them chicken McNuggets and them burgers. That ain't real meat. It's all just Round it up into some pink slime. Ugh. Jim says he just wants to know why the Casway had all of those clothes closed for a three hour tour. Right. Every time I go on a three hour tour, I just, you know, take me. I don't take luggage. No, I don't take my evening gowns and my high heel shoes. You know. But then again, what's really funny is you're right, Gilligan. And the skipper didn't have a whole bunch of change of clothes. You know, they had the same stuff. Professor did too. Yep. He did same. too in Burlington. Yep. Same old shirt, same old pants, same old bust dusty hat. Yeah, not Edith. <laughs> yeah, Edith. <laughs> Scotty says they just opened their first Jolly Bee in Michigan. Really? Wow. Wow. Yeah, they're supposed to be one opening up in. Tampa Bay, Florida area this year in 2024. So, so, so far, everybody likes Jolly Bee over McDonald's. Um, bear Naked Cruise, the Bear Naked Cruise. Yeah, just go naked. Yeah, you don't need clothes. Scotty's going to chime in here. McDonald's sausage, Asian cheese, muffin. Muffin is pretty good, though. I don't eat pork, so I don't ever touch it. The, you know, I think I would have to go with, I think Jolly Bee is better. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I think they have more versatility. There's more items. So you can get the weird little hamburger. And if you scrape off the mayonnaise, it's, pretty, it's a decent little burger. You know, two, you can get, you know, all that little gravy and beef steak stuck which is good. I actually like that a lot and the rice. So that's a good little thing. And you can get fried chicken. So um, I think Jollibee is better. And you can get lumpia and some other little things. I think I think Jollibee is better because they have a better menu, a mm -hmm. more diversified menu. Well, Tim, you know I prefer to just run over to Burritos and get me some of them crusty-ass hoagie rolls and some of that sliced prosciutto. I mean, I'll eat that, you know, if he put it in the sandwich. <laughs> Jim says he doesn't really like either of them, but I'll go to the VFW for a meal. I'll get some of them biscuits and gravy. I love biscuit and gravy. <laughs> that's, that's the only, well, there's two things that we do. At McDonald's, I do like the biscuit and gravy in the morning. For one, it's easy to go through and get, so that's why it's kind of expensive, but it's good. The only other thing that we really eat at McDonald's is when Lorelai and I are traveling and we need to get a uh, something to snack on or to have while we're driving, we'll whip through a McDonald's and get a number seven combo, which is two little cheeseburgers and one order of fry and a drink, and we split them. So we like that one. Yeah, that'll hold you. <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, we're on the road. We're... You don't want to be stopping for no number twos, taking the Browns to the Super Bowl. It ain't fun on the road. That's right. <laughs> and no Taco Bell on the road. Not no, sure. you don't know whose bathroom is nasty. Oh, man. No, you don't want to do that. So that's what we do a lot. We, we do that. We get that little McDonald's number seven combo and uh, works well for us. The boat says they're walking the dog. 
Have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. Have a good time. Do me a favor, though. When you're walking the dog, make sure my dogs don't see your dog. Because mm -hmm. my dogs are quiet now. And if they see your dog, we're going to get all excited. So if you can, you know, work on that for us, that'd be great, love, though. We appreciate you, though. And well, have fun with the September cruise. Uh, before you get it, get there in September, come back and tell us a little bit more about about that. So. <clears throat> you know, McDonald's, when I do feel like eating garbage and I got to get up real early for a VA appointment, yeah, I'll run over there and get me one of them big breakfasts, you know, the egg, yeah. the sausage, right. and the pancake. I just roll the egg and the sausage into the pancake. I don't even touch the biscuit. Mm. One thing I don't like about their food is is how, gre well, how greasy it is. You know what I mean? You, you, when you touch something and it just. Oh, that hash brown, you could lube your whole car. That's what I mean. It just, it's so oily. And there's a really. Timmy in the dogs, house. Walking their dog around the, the backyard. The dogs don't like it. So. Oh, man, she's really, she got really old. All right, where am I at? Oh, Kiko, Kiko choke on the milk. Man, Kiko on not. fire. Timmy's in the house. Did everybody say hello to Timmy? Thank you for the thumbs up. Appreciate you being here. My wife's not here tonight. She got a, a different job, and I fired her. I fired her from the live streams. I told her she wasn't pulling her weight as a co-host. So out the door you go. You better not say that twice. <laughs> or too loud you make them from work too loud. all right Reese is the word yeah but Timmy how are you everybody say hello to Timmy be nice SOS oh. anytime oh, shit. It, yeah. it's gotta be Denny's Denny's yeah big boy is what Shoney's right is that right Shoney's is big boy yeah. And Shoney Big Boy? Big Boy Burger? Yeah, well, I, I thought Shoney's was the nickname. Big Boy's. Didn't, didn't the Shoney's restaurant used to have the guy with the burger called Big Boy? Or am I hallucinating? No, Big Boy was the kid holding the burger up. But Big Boy was his own restaurant? Or was that also was yeah. that Shoney's? No, Big Boy's was his own restaurant. Okay. The kid in the checkered pants or something. Yeah. Up there. yeah. Okay. And we didn't have those in the South. Tim is saying hello to Timmy. Timmy is saying hello. Timmy is saying, is that Professor? Yes, that's him. <laughs> of course, that's me, Mike. I'll be back home uh, uh, in July. July, 4th of July. I'm going to be hanging out down there on Friendship Highway in the this new place we've got, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, yeah. Sunset Valley Mansions Subdivision. Oh, of friendship. okay. Of friendship. And so Shoney's was different, right? Yep, Bob's big boy. The one and the only. That's him. We, we have a lot of these. We got Who's one here called uh, Crazy Eric's. Man, the fries look like they left a mechanic shop. They're so greasy and dusty. It's terrible, but they're good. It don't yeah. even look like a potato. That's just gross. I know, right? But they, you know, for well, well, you're on the budget, crazy Eric's. Yeah, because they, they don't give you much food. They just give you a lot of grease. Yeah, that, that fries tow up. That grease must be a hundred years old. Have you, um, do you remember the movie um, uh, Vacation with Chevy Chase or uh, Bill Murray? Yeah, Chevy Chase, right? Yeah. You know, um, when um, they were in the casino and they went to Vegas, I can't remember which one of the vacations movie it was. Remember his, his hat or his brother-in-law? That had the plate in the head. Um, 
<laughs> he, he took him to the buffet at that one place that, you know, what was that? Las Vegas Vacation was the name of that movie, I think. Yeah, I get them all mixed up, you know. I got to go with the movie expert, Kiko. Scotty says, order my chocolate shake of Diddy's and then bring it to whole tumbler, two glasses full. Jeez, yeah. All right. Sounds like Korean town, Ronald. Yeah, that's where it is in Korea town. Yeah, in Vegas. Yeah, and Kiko's right. This is a National Lampoon vacation. You know where they gamble all their money away and Wayne Newton's in it? But I love the part where they go to that buffet and, and he tells them, well, don't be shy now, Clark, and piles all of that nasty dollar <laughs> ninety nine buffet and how they only use one plate between both of them, you know? So, uh... <laughs> mm, that's rough, isn't it? It is. It's bad. <laughs> but, you know, fat food is horrible. It is absolutely freaking horrible. Oh, we got this one place called King's Walk. All you can eat. Uh, they be watching you. <laughs> oh, you can't come back for more crab legs. Well, thank God I can't eat crab. Scott is wanting to know if that's the uh, Vegas, the vacation movie. No, no, no. That's no, no, no. The old lady that dies in the car is when they buy the station wagon. And they're going to uh, Wally World. Is that the grandmother? Yeah. No, an aunt. She was an aunt. Oh, she was an aunt. Yeah, she was an aunt. And remember, they get the, what did they call it? The truckster car, the station wagon, and, you know. Yeah. I'm, I love those. Scotty B. Yeah, he's still in Seattle. But he won't be there long. He only nope. got a few more months to go. Yep, and get my grill. A few more months, and then he will be set free. Yes, I'll be in base basking in the rainy heat. I don't care about rain. I don't care about heat. <laughs> I did enjoy the heat in the Philippines. I really did. You know, I mean, well, except for after the typhoon, and we had no electricity to move the air. That was so still. But yeah, I did That's enjoy the heat. That's a baby making situation. Move. <laughs> we ain't got no lights. I don't need no light. I'm trying. <laughs> Run down to the store, get your couple of red horses. Hey, girl, get busy. <laughs> get busy. They ain't gonna tell you. We don't care about no light. You know what? What I saw today, I read it, or I saw this on the internet, because you know everything on the internet's true. Scotty says, not much rain here in the five weeks I've been there. We, you know, we had rain um, there on Mackan Island quite a bit. Rained at least once a week. I saw a thing where the Albuquerque, New Mexico Police Department is under federal investigation. And check this out. For DWI abuse. So you got to love the, the uh, how some people think of this stuff. So apparently the police department has a DWI task force, which is great to stop, you know, drinking and driving, right? Apparently they have a handful of the officers who have a scheme going on with an attorney and what they would do is whether the person was guilty, you know, truly drunk, or they were totally innocent, didn't matter. They would press DWI charges against them and then have them go to this attorney, recommend this attorney, right? So the attorney would represent them and the officers wouldn't show up and the case would get dismissed. And the attorney would give those officers a kickback out of the money he made from the people they arrested. Mm. He goes, says, we had six or seven co-workers getting that big SUV. And go, oh, Pete, CeCe's pizza is nasty. <laughs> or cheap, all-you-can-eat buffet. They have heart battle on the way back to their work and at work. 
We won't do CC's pizza. It's nasty. I mean, it's. And I hate to say this. But even the pizza that really isn't pizza in the Philippines is better than CC's pizza ever could be. Wow. That is shit gross. But don't you love that? I mean, how they how they came up with this? Yeah, that's, pretty, that's pretty good scheme. Man, blew my mind. I was reading a story about the the goon squad down there in uh what was it Mississippi? Oh yeah. You heard about that, boys? Is this the ones related to the um, the cemetery of the, of the, um, the the dead folks, the cemetery? No, no, no. They got a call from a neighbor saying somebody was disturbance at the house, and the, the one one cop called up the other goons, and they all went to this house and were beating and torturing these two black people, you know, with sex toys and all this other shit. Yeah. I'm like, you got to be kidding. Now they're looking at the shirt. Well, they should. He put up with it. He know them boys ain't right. <laughs> Scotty wants to know who everybody thinks has the best pizza. In the mm. If you can find it, yellow. Yellow pizza. Haven't tried the pizza yet in the Philippines because I heard it wasn't real cheese, so I didn't bother. No, the... Um, it's disgusting. But the best we could think of, I think it's Yellow Cab, right? Is that the one? Yellow something in the Philippines? I can't remember. I can help me out. It's Yellow or Yellow Cab. Mm -mm. All I know is Shakey's. Yeah, that Shakey's. It was, you know, that Angel's Pizza is the, is the worst. It's the cheapest in the Philippines, and there's a reason for it. But Kiko says, best and pizza <laughs> are two words that don't go together there. Amen to that. Yellow cab. Okay, it's got a, a yellow cab. Yellow cab is probably the best you're going to find. Unless sure. you can find somebody who makes it homemade. So. But no, man, I, I was just thinking, Jesus Christ, people. So what they had to do was dismiss over 200 DWI cases. Mm -mm -mm. And some of them are guilty, but they had to dismiss it. So not what only were they, they were arresting But well, David, I'm sorry to mean to cut you off, but I can't see what's written here. This stupid heart is at the bottom of my screen where the text is. Yeah. And I got to scroll up and just up and down. It's right there at the I can't see past this heart. Do you know how to remove that? A heart? Yeah, there's a heart right there. Emojis. No, I don't know how to get rid of that because it irritates the crap out of me too, Ronald. Mm. On, on, uh, yeah, on YouTube, that little stinking heart thing. And I don't even know how the hell it came to be about. It just kind of showed up one day. Yeah, I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go to Dao and check it out. And if you uh, click on it, you can click on these other things like a little blower and a funny face and a funny face and a hundred. Yeah, I don't know how you get rid of it either. I don't know either. Maybe, um, maybe Scotty knows. Tim says, uh, Ron will try Dida. Pizza near Didi Pizza near Jumbo, Jinra, and Dao. 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 I was looking. <laughs> Man, I can't pronounce shit. <laughs> Maybe give me a few more of these. <laughs> I know, right? I'm on where I'm on. I'll be the next one on the DWI list. Mm. But what's really sad about that, they're arresting people who are totally innocent, who blew zero, zero, passed every test, still arresting them for it. But the people that are truly guilty and had really DWIs got off scot-free because they did the same thing to the drunk people too. 
Bam. Scotty says, yep. You're Ruby? Huh? Oh, YouTube. YouTube. You too. It's going to put all that crap in the way. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know how to get rid of it, Scotty. It, it irritates me, but here, we'll play with it. Little, little heart farts or something. I don't know what you call it. Yeah, that's a quick reference, you know, for emojis. Yeah, <clears throat> Tim says, Ronald, you can taste the love in the pizza. I hope so. I'll find out when I get there because I'll have new teeth. Well, and I think what he means is you the, when, when a pizza's good, you can taste the love in it. Mm. And you can tell the Philippines doesn't have love for pizza because it tastes like garbage. Mm. 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 You know, they don't, they don't love, they love their adobo and their pancit and the lumpia. But do they love pizza? Absolutely not. Do they love yeah, jelly beans? Don't Absolutely. forget that spaghetti. Oh, yeah. They love that spaghetti with them hot dogs. Yeah. That's just <laughs> gross. You know what I saw the other day at Walmart? I saw a hot dog chili in a can, you know, like for covering hot dogs or making chili dogs that had cut up hot dogs in it. Mm. I just didn't understand why you would cut up a hot dog to put in hot dog chili that you spread over the top of your hot dog. But now, wrap it up, Tim. I'll let you know. I'll be coming in on the red eye, of course, from Seattle. Then I'll take a break. And then, uh, I mean, I got so much stuff to bring back. It's ridiculous. So do you got a, you got all your um, your your Bollock buying boxes timed out to where they get there before you when you get there or, or a while after you're there? Yeah, I plan on kicking them out of here at the end of April. So I'm looking at May, June, July, and by the time I get there, they'll be rolling in. I got <laughs> one box left to fill a pack up. I had some stuff from Amazon coming. They all came, so now I just have to make room for my microwave and the rest of this gee dump. I got up in here and I'm done. Why are you taking a microwave? I already own one. I'm, I'm, it, it, you're you're going to have a really good probability of it blowing up in the Philippines. No, it won't blow up. I got all the necessary equipment. Wow. All right. Yeah, right. you know I'm saying, check it out. I'm telling you, that's what they call me here for. You got the inverter and all that mess. Man, please. <laughs> 220 back down to 110. Easy. Yep. With the quickness. Check it out. There you go. Yep. And the number one thing to do in the Philippines is to make sure you unplug crap during the stormy stuff. Oh, yeah. Of course. I don't want to blow up nothing. I don't want to be like H. Bachelor Cool. He brought his Keurig coffee machine. He said he's been coming to the Philippines off and on, but then he plugs up his Keurig right into the 220 and boom. Oh. <laughs> Those coffee makers ain't cheap. Scotty, you know, the interesting thing he's talking about the pizza that they got last week. For, and, and, and I appreciated Lorelai's family trying um, to. Uh, to bring me pizza, but they brought me, and I had pizza the first time I was in the Philippines of Lorelai. We had pizza, and, and it was just, she she was excited. We were at the Cebu Waterfront Hotel in, in Cebu, and that's where we stayed at for the month I was there. And she, she was all excited, you know, and <laughs> went down to the IT area and got a pizza and brought it back, and She's like, oh, I got you pizza. And I'm like, oh, that's great. And then I got it out and went, what the hell is this? I don't know what this, what the thing pizza? You know, my pizza. <laughs> but when we were there the last time, her family did the same. And they brought a bunch of, I think it's Angel's Pizza. And all they, all this crap was, was really hard flatbread with some pizza-like toppings on top of it. It's disgusting. Ronald, I won't be here until I... Yeah, Ronald's going to Canada. I mean, sorry, Tim's going to Canada. 
Word. He's coming on my side of the planet. Yeah, I think he's going to go on vacation. That's why he's going to the gym and working out and get all buff. He's mm -hmm. going to go to Canada. Rather that. Well, when I get there, I ain't leaving. I mean, I've got to do my SRRV. Before I leave here, i got to get my police report, get ready for that, get that all settled up. And I'm straight. I ain't getting married, so I don't need all those documents. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not a bad thing not to get married. Hey. I done tried it three times. I ain't trying it no more. I don't blame you. I don't blame you, man. I really what don't. love got to do with it? Tina Turner, rest in peace. What love got to do with it? I guess everybody talking about OJ done passed away, too. Yep, I saw that today. He passed away. A cancer, mm -hmm. I guess, finally. Yeah, you know, they killed OJ. Scotty's bringing up the fact that pineapple does not belong on pizza. Yeah. I can I can take it or leave it. I would prefer without it, but if I'm really hungry, I'll eat it. <laughs> hey, if pineapple works in a afritada or calderita, oh, it works on pizza for me. Mm -hmm. I like spinach on my pizza. Me too. I like spinach. So back to OJ. OJ. So the real question is: Was he guilty? Is he guilty? Oh, yeah, OJ did that shit. <laughs> Just talking about. Uh, Scotty's telling you, bro, get married, have more kids, enjoy life. Yeah. Mm. I got a my, my, my uh, one of our, our expat brothers over there. He just had a baby. That's all the baby we gonna need. Yes. <laughs> I'm not. A, I'm not a, a baby person either, man. I'm just not. Said. Uh, no more babies. Tim's like, ah, I don't really care about OJ. OJ was guilty. They well, were guilty. I think he still is guilty. He's just dead now. But well, he ain't guilty no more. He he's absolved from all his earthly sins, yeah. so he good to come. No, I remember that. That was such of a a TV storm going on back when I was teaching in the nineties. It was it was just. It was like the first um, um, reality TV, in a way. You know what I mean? Yeah, like who shot J.R.? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I thought was really sad was how pathetic it was that they couldn't convict him. <laughs> the key goes down, seven is enough for me. What, seven wives, seven kids, seven pizzas? Seven mm -hmm. nuts. <laughs> seven is enough for me. Yeah, well, between the three marriages, let me okay. see. I got ten overall. You know, four, four, three of my own and seven step. All right. I don't call them step. I ain't never did. What the hell they know? They kids. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. I wouldn't be parsing words with the kids. Children, Kiko was saying. I'm talking about children. Oh. I don't understand English. <laughs> I have no children. And, and uh, I'll tell you whether you like it or not. But I think it was probably the best decision I've ever made. Yeah, probably ain't wrong. You heard that the comedian say, well, you know, my kids are adopted. So, yeah, everybody start <laughs> clapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, oh, I'm glad they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I I'm like thinking, that. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking he adopted all his kids, and then he says, oh, I'm glad they're gone. That's funny. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, you know, I, I never wanted kids for some weird reason. Maybe uh, I was afraid they would grow up to be like me, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I didn't think about it. You know, they just come. You know, you banging and banging, something's going to happen. Yeah. 
They just Not come when they come. The kids are good for cutting grass and washing dishes. I know that. And going to the go to the store and get me a pack of cigarettes. There you go. <laughs> but in today's world, I could I could imagine raising kids in today's world. I feel sorry for the kids of today. Tim, you're right. He's wondering why the spike strips weren't used in that low speed chase that lasted hours. Look, or the simple pit maneuver. He was going slow. All they'd have to do is pull in front of him and block his stupid Bronco in. Hello? But see, they was given OJ White Boy privileges. That's why right. they didn't do it. Yep. He running through airports for them and shit for Avis. <laughs> He goes uh, and college tuition. Oh, I don't forget those. Yeah, it's not that I don't like kids. It's just, you know, I don't know. Um, my life wasn't great growing up, and I didn't want to to screw kids up any worse than they already are. So, uh, you know, uh, when Lorelai and I met, and she said she didn't want any kids, I'm like, you're the girl for me. <laughs> No, you know me. I'm having kids. I'm like, God damn it, if I'm dysfunctional, so will you. You don't like it. Well, and, and, and I've had friends tell me that it's a really good thing I didn't have kids because my personality is the type that if I take on something, if I own something like a dog or a kid, then I do it and devote myself to it. And and, and I've had friends tell me that he would, I would already be dead because I would stress too much and worry too much. And they would be so pampered and spoiled rotten and because I'm just, you know, you speak ill of my child, I would kill you type of parent. <laughs> right. And, you know, me and Kiko and Dave, we come up and Tim and Scotty. We come up the regular old-fashioned way, you know. You got a girl, you have sex, you have a baby. It ain't no big deal. Well, we ain't thinking about college tuition and none of that. It's just, that's what happened. <laughs> Kiko, I like that. Kiko said, I really wasn't thinking about liking them when I was making them. <laughs> See, that, that my, my thought always was, I don't want to pay for these children. <laughs> Be honest to God truth. Why I never had kids? Because I didn't want to waste my money on them. I didn't want to give them my beer money, my car money. I didn't want to have to buy them food and clothes. You know, I wanted to keep my money for me. Uh, Scotty says, the trade school or the military, better than college? Absolutely. Look, you know, as an old college professor, I'm going to tell you, 90% of the time, sending your kids to college is a waste. Wasted money and a waste of their time. Just saying. Yeah, because most of them, they just drop out and become something else. Kiko wasn't thinking at all when he was making little babies. Neither was me. <laughs> None of us was thinking. We wasn't thinking about that. We was just, <clears throat> come here, go. Uh, mm. Oh, what? You pregnant? Oh, damn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you, you start thinking then. <laughs> that's my point. See, and maybe that's a difference. I thought ahead of time. Said if I make a baby, then I got to spend money for 18 years raising that snot head. So, uh, you know. Henry says, well, look at the kids we have today. They don't go outside or do anything like we used to. We take away their video games and they get unruly. Yeah. I'm going to call the cops. You took my Xbox. I'm calling the police. I, I want a divorce. I think Jack sent me a funny the other day. Um, you know, a little cartoon funny. I think Jack sent me one. It had this little boy outside sitting at a little table with his laptop playing games. And his dad is asking him, what is he doing? He's like, well, he told me to go outside to play. And so he took his laptop outside to go play. Mm, mm, mm. But, yeah, but I'm going to, yeah, my, my vote is military or trade school. Um, whatever you can do to get your kids to be, to, 
to be on their feet where they can make money for themselves, the sooner the better. And that's for everybody. Right. I know the I know the hustle was real, Scotty. We was doing everything. You was you was taking my grandmother's clean towels out of the house, taking them over to the car wash and catching the cars come out and drying them off for a quarter yep. or shoveling snow or washing people's steps. I mean, we were, it was hustling. Yeah. You know? Yeah. When he was a kid, uh, I was playing the neighborhood sports or doing my chores to get my five bucks allowance. Yeah. <laughs> well, Scotty, when I was a child, my dad used to pimp me out as manual labor because I, <laughs> uh, I was a really big kid. And even in the sixth grade, I was extremely strong. I'm old now, but even in the sixth grade, I was extremely strong. So uh, my dad liked to rent me out to the neighbors to do chores for them. And what I found out years later was they were paying him and I wasn't getting my cut. Yeah, right. <laughs> And then, then you wonder why Lizzie Borden went off. <laughs> 40 wax? 40 wax? I'm telling you. You mean to tell me you made $35 off my labor and you ain't give me a quarter? That's it. I'm telling you. Yeah, I found out years later. Sure hell enough. Because <laughs> I, I didn't understand why I was always having to work for all these damn people in the, in the trailer park. I mean, I worked for the maintenance people. I worked for all these people, you know, putting skirting on and moving cylinder bricks and blocks and, you know, cleaning yeah, up trailers that caught on fire, you know. Yeah, you truly was pimped out. And uh, me got no money. <laughs> no money. No money, money. <laughs> yes, allowance. Yes, I was allowance to live there. That's it. That's all. We never, only time we got money from one of them adults was when one of our cousins come from down South Carolina and they come visit. They'll hand out quarters. Oh, man, it's Christmas. Yes. See, now I do that. I like to, I like to give candy and money to kids. Not that yeah. way, but like nieces and nephews, I like to slip them a 20 or give them a big old candy bar. You know, get them all hyped up on sugar and let them go back to their mom and daddies. You know, so mm. I'm one of those guys that would say, when I was in the Philippines, I would tell our niece, here's twenty dollars, or I can't remember whatever the equivalent was back then. But um, here's twenty bucks. Don't tell your mom. You know. All right. <laughs> Ain't none of my uncles ever gave us more than a goddamn quarter. Never. Back in the day, I mean, because I could take that 25 cent, go right down there to the corner grocery store, get me a Kaiser roll, a quarter pound of pressed ham, a quarter Damn. pound of cheese, and a soda. That's lunch. Damn, that is good. For a quarter. Wow. And the I store never... what the store wasn't a hundred feet from the house. Nice. Now I know, right? I remember as a little kid going to the A and W restaurants. Remember the A like Sonic, and you could get the root beer and jugs. Remember as a little kid, mm. buying a lot of that, and then I would bring it back and sell it to the other kids. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I remember that too, uh, Scotty B. You had to get that fresh album or that new forty-five. Uh -huh. Ooh, you had to bust your chops just to get that money. And the, what the movie theater was like thirty-five cents. Yes. So you go up in there, you know, the bus was a quarter. <laughs> good old we, days. Yeah, the good old days. That's right. We had Mr. Quick Hamburgers when I was in high school. And um, and after football practice, those guys would go over and they had hamburgers for a quarter back then. Mm, mm, mm. Or cheeseburgers for a quarter. Cheeseburgers. Mm -hmm. Burgers was 15. Yeah, we, we would we would we would pound those on. Mm. Oh, Scotty, did you ever go junking? You know what that is? We used to go junking to make money too. Uh -huh. You know, during the during, during the early part of the week, when yeah. all well, the rich people throw out the good garbage, and we take it up to the junk <coughs> shop and we weigh it up. Mm, boom, papers, newspapers, all of that. 
Yeah, we mowed uh, lawns too. That was something we did in the trailer park. We dragged our little lawn mowers and pushed them around the neighborhood mowing yards. And we, I made money that way because my dad wasn't home during the day. So, <laughs> well, where I come from, we only had concrete lawns, so we didn't need. <laughs> you know. But no grass to be found, so we didn't have to worry about cutting grass. We just washing people's steps, shoveling snow, you know, yeah. junking, you know, washing, wiping down cars, working at the car wash, and, and just you know, hustling. That was our oh. own pocket money, but most of it went to my grandmother because we used her towels. Yeah. <laughs> he goes says Foreigner was the first album he bought with his own money. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bottles, too. Yeah, I remember them bottles used to get five cents. Wow. Yeah, for the bottle. Yep, yep. yep. We even, um, we had somebody who uh, liked to bass fish, and so they always wanted crawdads. And so the guy would pay us to go in the creek behind the trailer park and find crawdads. And so we'd get money that away. Mm -hmm. Digging up crawdads, putting them in a jar and selling them to him so he could go fishing with them. Yeah, yeah, we didn't do cans. There was no aluminum recycle back in the day. <clears throat> Only you, bottles. You remember your first uh, album, anybody? What was the first album if you owned any albums? The first album, well, I won one album listening to a radio station. I won a Stevie Wonder album. But ah. the first album I bought was uh, Diva. Correct that with. <laughs> Scotty says Rolling Stone was his first. The positive two cents on the bottles. You know, um, this, and this is probably going to tell you how weird I am, and I, I don't remember exactly, but the first record or 45 I ever bought was the song about the, the Ayatollah. Um, what was that? Where Al that, Yankovic? That, that song. Was that Weird Al Yankovic? Uh, no, I don't think it was. You were, um, I think I still have that record in storage somewhere. The, uh, I think it was, uh, what was that back, you know, Iran, I, the Ayatollah, some, maybe it was Weird Al. Uh Kiko, I was I was well, shit back in '76. It was only a dollar fifty, dollar seventy five. I never did the never did the C two dollar. I joined the Navy after that. I was like this dollar seventy five ain't supporting these four kids. Yeah, what was that song? Damn it! Now now that's gonna drive me crazy. That's right, Scotty. Being a dollar and a quarter, that's where we was. Busting it. Eight hours a day. I found it right here. I found it. You found it on the internet. God only knows what the internet can do for you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Gas was 25 cents. 1979. Mm -hmm. You know what happened one time? I was working at the car at the gas station. And this cat rolled up on me and shit. He says, oh, give me five. So I'm pumping five dollars worth. All he wanted was, you know, Since? five gallons. Uh-oh. 235 was the first wage. Yeah, I think 335 was my first hourly wage. I got fired oh. from that job for punching my manager. So <laughs> it was that Sonic. And some punk kid about 20 years old was the boss. And I was 14, bigger than he was. He mouthed off, so he wind up yeah. sleeping on the floor. Yep, that's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Me and my <laughs> uncle, we had a situation like that coming back from the car wash. We had made about $35, but just wiping down cars. People was giving us more than a quarter, right? Rock the cash flow. So we heading home, this little kid, little black kid, talking about, give me your money. My uncle froze. Oh, no, we work hard for this. I grabbed the red brick off the ground and smashed his nose. Pow! We took off running. <laughs> you ain't getting this money. <laughs> well, you know, I, I remember the Sonic situation. I was a cook. 
And, and it was a shitty job, but you, you just don't. You know, I, I was young and, uh, you know, maybe had a little bit of an attitude, as people say. Hmm. But I remember him smarting off to me. And there, I was working with a real cute girl, and he kept smarting off to her. And then he smarted off to me, and he wound up on the floor, you know, having a good time there. And then I went home. Oh, so, you got to love it. Yeah, you got to love it. Just not going to do it. Adolescents, you can't beat it. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Hear that? Uh-oh. Yeah, we did make a nice piece of change humping them soda bottles and them beer bottles. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we did a lot of bottle picking up and Scotty says he pumped gas at a shell, thinking that I pumped yeah, gas at a shell. I think it was smelled like gas every day. Yeah. yeah, we did. We smelled like gas every day because no matter how much you pump it, you're going to get some on you somewhere. Before. That's before they had the splash cards. Yeah, that this was the old skinny nozzles, yeah. you know what I'm saying, with the skinny holes. And, yep. and, and remember, Scotty? You, you, you didn't have to push a button. Remember, you had to flip the lever up to pump the gas? Yeah, you had the... Um, that the big, metal, big metal handle. Lever, right? Yeah, you right. swing it up. Yeah, then you get yeah. the gas. No, there was never no unleaded. It was just straight up gas. <laughs> Scotty uses to wear those coveralls. Yeah, I never had any coveralls. We just used clothes. Not unleaded, yeah. Yeah, and who and who knows? You know, I always wondered, well, unleaded, is it really unleaded or are they just lying to you to try to get you to buy it? Oh, yeah. it's unleaded. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you smell like a board of ship there, boss? I smell like dry cleaning fluid. <laughs> At least you didn't smell like a porta body. I guess that's good. Uh, I worked at the dry cleaning plant. I mean, that, that was my space. Yeah. That old perk ethylene, whatever they call that shit. We just call it perk. Yeah. Get that like crazy. Paint. Say what, David? So they got those whites white? No, 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 no. Dry cleaning is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a different beast. Ah. The okay. clothes get wet, but they, they don't get wet. They chemical wet. Yeah. Okay. All right. And we just. I'm not, I'm not rich enough to have anything dry cleaned. Oh, shut up, fool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of those poor people. You know? <laughs> Look here, man. We'll take your mother's fur coat down to the dry cleaner. I got a brother that has everything dry clean, though. Yeah, Time for me to go to the gym. Are you going to the gym, Tim? Because you're coming to Canada and you want to look all studly. I know what you're doing in the gym, buddy. Um, but we appreciate you being here, Tim. Have fun. Everybody say goodbye to Tim. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had anything dry cleaned. Not that I remember, anyway. That dry cleaning was the best job I ever had. You had, a, you had to watch the pump because they didn't click off yet. They would overflow. It would just, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I remember doing that. And uh, when I was a young person, I worked as a manager at a truck stop. And man, truck stops stink the diesel fuel. And uh, maybe it's better these days, but back then, it was so oily, you know. And man, that that diesel was gets everywhere. Mm. 
Well, see, Ronald's Ronald's rich, Kiko. You know, he's one of those rich guys. You know, he knows how to, <laughs> he knows how to have things dry clean. Like a poor folk. Yeah, but, but, but yeah, I got a brother that, you know, when he calls me, he's like, oh, I'm just waiting by the dry cleaner. I got to get my sticks out. But, well, well, Kiko, you know I'm a tail, so we don't really mess with cotton. We, we work with wool. You can't wash wool. Unless you wanted to shrink. Right. I hate wool. It's so itchy. Oh, not the good stuff. That ga that wool gabardine. Mm, that's good stuff. <laughs> I've never had anything good. Ha <laughs> ha! You got you got Lorelai. Shut up. Oh yeah, talk about fabric flies. <laughs> mm, talking about fabric flies. Oh, I'm talking about fabric. Well, you got that pretty good looking Hawaiian shirt on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I really like these. You know, these uh, stay nice and cool. They go. dry easily. So I like these. Yeah, I'm good at that. Uh -huh. So as you see, now you done moved up from burlap. <laughs> <laughs> burlap is some rough stuff now. <laughs> it What's is up? And hemp. That's some bad stuff. It is. He's trying to make it funny because wool comes from sheep, you know. Yeah. Have you guys seen those sheep videos on the internet where they're shearing them, you know? And uh, oh, some of these sheep has been neglected for like years or something, and they're just the mounds, plucked ball. Yeah. And man, that is a trip that you got this. Thing as big as I am, and when they're done, you know, it's a, it's a little bitty animal inside of all of that. Yeah. The same with horses. Did you let the horse hair grow too deep? You have to cut the hair because it's so smooth, you can't see how thick it is. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, you have to shave the horses too. Sheer in record time. Oh, here we go again. Kiko on fire. <laughs> He's on fire. He's throwing out those puns. Yeah, he is. Now, I had a I had a mission today. I'm, What's I'm that? Try, I'm trying to get into the shower. I'm like, man, there go the phone. The phone ringing. I'm in the shower. First, it was Maricel. And then it was uh, Mr. Crawl Space, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> and then it was Mike. I was like, yo, Mike, can't can brother get a shower? I gotta hit these nuts. <laughs> well, but aren't you trained in the Navy to take five minutes shower? So all you need is five minutes, right? I've been retired for over 29 years. I don't know what a Navy shower looks like. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw a Dr. Phil show one time where where they were talking about these kids are complaining about dad who was a retired Navy, and they were only allowed to take five-minute showers, and they were only allowed to use five pieces of toilet paper to wipe their mm. butts at a time. Mm. Uh, why the toilet paper? I don't know, but, you know. Yeah, no, the staples are out, Kiko. <laughs> Plus, they're stainless steel, Kiko. It's not staining it. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't get in the shower. I couldn't because you know, open wound was still there, so I couldn't jump in there. Yeah. I know. Yeah. When I had my my ankle replacement surgery, Jesus Christ, you know, all those stitches, and I mean, it's it just gnarly. Yeah, for sure. Gnarly. I, I'm still getting ghost pains from the staples. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what was weird is when I woke up from my coma, um, I know it only, I mean, I didn't know at the time, but it, you know, it, it was only 10 days, more like 10 months for me, but it was so weird because the, the one thing I really, really wanted was a shower because it seemed like I hadn't had a shower in 10 months. I mean, mm. 
<clears throat> in my brain, I was I was dead for 10 months, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so when I come out of this and I'm still in the huge fog, I wanted a shower really bad because, you know, I was thinking I hadn't taken a shower in almost a year. And I was so filthy and dirty because of everything that happened to me in the coma, you know, yeah. dick yeah. around in the shit and the sand and everything that I went through in the coma. Right. You know, I literally thought that's how I looked and felt was the experiences from the, the Yes, Kiko. I had an ankle replacement. Did I not tell you? They came and took yours and gave it to me. <laughs> you. That's why they call you Gimpy. That's right. <laughs> you ain't got no ankle. You're ankleless. I had tendon reconstruction surgery or replacement surgery. Ooh, that's serious. Worst. Don't ever do it. Look, I'm going to tell you all now. Because I still talk to people weekly. Um, on my videos about my ankle surgery, mm-hmm. I tell them, boy, blankly, it's the worst surgery I ever did. And if I had to do it again, one thing, one medical thing, I would not have ever done that surgery. I would have never have done ankle surgery. Worst thing I've ever done. Mm-hmm. Worse. Knee replacement, piece of cake. Peacemaker, piece of cake. All these other freaking surgeries I've had, kidney operations. Piece of cake. Ankle surgery? Worst damn thing in the world. What was the worst part about it? Your mobility? Well, one, I've lost, I have nerve damage. Two, mobility issues. It swells up at any weirdness. My step wrong, I'm screwed. It can, it just is the worst, and man, it, it's, it's ten times worse now than it was before. Mm. It's in worse condition now than it was, but the hardest thing is is the ner- the loss in, or the weird nerve damage. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That's why Lorelai likes to um, use her feet and touch my legs. Oh Jesus! I've had to tell her I'm going to cut your damn feet off because if you keep touching my leg, I'm going to kill you. Because <laughs> if you touch my calf or below. It sends out these electrical charges that literally, oh my God. Kiko says, my wife always tells me I smell like I haven't showered in weeks. My is the same thing. And I tell her all the time, Kiko, you're wrong, Lorelai. It's been a couple of months, not a couple of weeks. <laughs> Get it right. Get it right. <laughs> I mean, hell, we're in the Philippines, we barely got to shower at all because we had no freaking water. Why are you pitching now? Mm. <laughs> that remind me of this thing uh, one of my shipmates said to one of my other shipmates. This guy we called, we called him Dirty T because he would hardly ever take a shower, right? Mm-hmm. So Davenport came up with this crazy shit one day. He said, Dirty T, I can take some dirt, throw it on your chest, and grow flowers. I said, God. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, roll it. I was like, where you come up with that? Because the dude did not, he did not like to get in the shower. Kiko said the only cut he ever had was to stop his, what he thinks are Olympic swimmers um, from swimming anymore. I think oh. you're giving, your, I think you're giving yourself a little bit too much credit there, Kiko. But I had the same surgery. I had a vasectomy when I was 45, uh, 44. I don't know. Mm. You know. I I still got about 20 more Zulu warriors coming out of here. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I've been really happy with it. It It didn't hurt, you know. I mean... I guess, you know, it yeah, was, yeah. I mean, better I than pay, a brick. I had to pay yeah. for it out of my own pocket with cash. Hey, that would hurt. Jack, I sent the link. Did you get it? Or I put the link up there. Did you see it? Scotty says, I put a nail in my foot when, when dad and I was at the junkyard and didn't like the pain. Yeah, I, I had a nail through my foot. I've had that. Mm. You know what's worse than a nail through your foot? 
What's that? Slamming your damn thumb in the car. Done that. Done that. That was, that was terrible. Terrible. I was. I am thirty nine. What do you mean? You're right. I only. I'm only, I live thirty nine. I'm only thirty seven. See, together we're seventy, almost eighty. Almost eighty. <laughs> Jack's in the house. Everybody say hello to the Jack Master. What's up, Jack? Uh -oh. What in the ham sandwich? Oh, he got the library there. Hold on, hold on now. No, it's a clipper. Oh, is, oh, we got, uh, oh, he got the manscaper out. This is a PG no, show, buddy. Upstairs. That's not a manscaper. It looks like a manscaper. No. It's a they're all though. Now I'm gonna be honest, I don't understand manscaping it at all. You know, I just don't have a problem with being who I am. So No, but when we when every time you take a shower and you hear that song, Welcome to the jungle, we got fun and game. You you got the manscaping. <laughs> I'm I'm okay with the jungle, you know. <laughs> but it holds so much perspiration and funk. Yeah, but still, I just can't get into the manscaping shit. Man, I well, I'm just going to be a little crude. If they want to suck a ball, I'm going to make sure it's clean. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> because, Jack hey, Scotty is saying hello. Henry's saying hello. Kiko is saying, ooh, la, la. You guys remember that magazine? Is that what you're referencing, Kiko? Uh, remember that magazine back in the day? A little booklet thing? Wasn't that called Ooh La La? Kiko's a sick bastard. Yeah, remember it had the little <laughs> sex stories in it? Ah, <laughs> oh, Scotty got his first Filipino haircut the other day. Nice. Snap. Cost you about two dollars. I get one quite a bit for my, my Filipina, but it cost me a hell of a lot more than two dollars, let me tell you. I don't know. Me and Jack do ours for free. Yep, I didn't mind another day. Yeah. Uh, what was Bruce Lee's name? Dan Dan something. Dan not Dan, Dan Blocker. No, Dan um his real name? Dan Blocker. Yeah. What was it? Dan Blocker. I always wanted to be like him. I love the movie Grizzly Adams stuff. I like them too. We watched it. Yeah, no, his name was John Adams. John Quincy Adams? No, well, who, uh, who, John who, who, Brady. Who is Dan Blocker? Is that the horse? I mean, horse? Yes, he was Hoss. Oh, okay. See, I would be happy to look like Grizzly Adams, but Lorelai always throws a fit. Mm -hmm. You know, females don't like facial hair, so. Scotty says it cost him 100 pesos. They probably, that's all right, two bucks. That's two dollars. <coughs> yeah, that Hoss. Hoss, yeah. He's dumber than a biscuit. I always like, see, I would look like Grizzly Adams. Back in my college days, when I before I met Lorelai, I had long hair and a long beard, and I looked a lot like him. Mm. So I, I dig I dig that look. But and I keep telling Lorelai, I said, if you let me grow it out really long, I can make money as Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. The evil Santa Claus. Yeah, but that ain't no kind of income. You only get paid once a year. That's all I need. <laughs> That's all I need. I like oh, Grizzly. I like Grizzly Adams. I like uh, what's that? You Gibbons used to be out there messing with those wild cattails. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack and his vibrator. He even uh, shaved my he even shaved your face. Yeah, for two bucks, it's a good deal. And yeah. you get a massage. Yeah. No Some manscaping for this dude either. You want to see something, buddy? 
Ew! Somebody call a damn forest department. <laughs> you see what happens when Lorelai's not here? You gotta start the OnlyFans somehow. Hey, hey! Only you can prevent forest fires. Manscape. <laughs> start, start your eggs on fire. Yeah, I cut mine this morning when I was trying to get a shower. People kept calling me. I said, "I may shave this shit off in the shower." <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm bringing my. Go ahead, Ronald. I'm bringing my clippers to the Philippines. I got my step down. We have like six or seven pairs of clippers. Because every great once in a while, Lorelai will forget that we have five other pairs and go buy another. Must be nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not feeling well, thanks, David. Yeah, Pepto Bismol won't help. No <laughs> help at all. You know, so. I can show you more if you want. If you want to be, if you want to be doing some, uh, some donating, you know. If you want to see more, you got to donate. Now, now I will get dementia because I'm <laughs> trying to forget. Mm. You gouge your eyes out. I know, right? Yeah. Did you get your grill? The grill gonna be ready for another test on Monday. Ah. I called it a day. Oh. Oh, Jeff, that, that's what they call me, Jeff here. They don't, they don't call me Ronald. I told them I'm from the old Navy thing. My last name is Jefferson, so they cut it in half. They call me Jeff. So that's what everybody called me here in Bremerton. So he said, Jeff, uh, yeah, I was going to call you. Yeah, right. I beat you to your job. You five. She said, well, we work, we work every other Friday. I'm like, yeah, I know. Ain't no coming in tomorrow. So now it's Monday. 10.30. So, Jack, what have you been up to? Yeah, just woke up. Went on my phone, senior is still here for some reason. <laughs> oh, damn, you're crazy. Yeah. Henry says, I know, I got to go puke now, so everybody take good care. Yeah. Hi, Henry. <laughs> Brown out last Henry. night. We appreciate you, man. Stay safe down in your part of the world. I know you're getting a lot of rain. So, uh, you know, stay safe down there, Henry. We'll chat with you here soon. See you, Henry. And uh, yeah. maybe next week we'll actually have a topic. <laughs> I'll be getting more prepared. This week I've been on drugs. More no, than yeah, normal. We don't need no topic anyway. More than normal. I've been on drugs. Yay! You yeah, almost killed myself last night. Had a brownout. I was oh. in the bathroom upstairs cleaning it. I turn on to walk out. Darkness. I'm like, oh great. I didn't mm. bring my phone. I bring a lighter. So I'm just wandering around, blind as hell. Just face planted right into the door. Like how I broke my glasses to get myself a black eye last year. Oh, but on, the, on this side, I don't think there's a black guy. I doubt it. Didn't hit it that hard. I mean, I almost fell down the stairs. Like I was walking, I'm trying to find the stairs. Yeah, I found the stairs, took one step, and I grabbed whatever I could. I grabbed the railing. Good thing it was there. Yeah, I almost, yeah, I almost fell down the stairs. That would have been good. Yeah, that was a lot of stairs, too. So, oh, yeah. so I have a question. I have a question. Why are you cleaning the bathroom in the dark? No, it was light. Ah. The, the power was on. Then had okay. a brown out. Just clearing, clarifying. Just trying to. Because otherwise, I don't want to see the dirt. That's why I'm <laughs> completely in the dark. Mm. Yeah, I've seen things. <coughs> I've seen things being cleaned in, in, in the dark here. Like my my dishes. The aswams are real. I, I hate rewashing dishes just to eat. The rats are real. I can tell you that much. Oh, it's a delicacy. You know they export the rats from Vietnam to other places? Wow. Well, I don't eat. know. 
I haven't seen rats or mice here in a long time. Well, I got six cats outside. Oh, they love it. Yeah, they oh, fat yeah. and happy. If they're fat and happy, you know they're doing their job. Mm-hmm. What did the cat say, Jack? Me meow, me meow, meow. I'm loving it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, we're glad we're glad you didn't fall down and crack your head. I'm serious. Yeah. You already already the range. We don't need yeah. to be worse. I'm tripping over the internet cable, tripped over the vacuum cleaner, tripped over a garbage can, tripped over a chair. I stayed uh, standing up somehow just to find my phone downstairs and the power company in here is so janky. What the word you use, janky? Yep, there's other words I could use, but this is a family friendly freaking. Lorelai's not here. We can go all out. That's right. Yeah, Lorelai's not here, so we don't have to stop and explain to her what we mean. Mm-mm-mm. That's why we're talking about manscaping. That's it. He goes, says, well, he can do whatever he wants in the dark. Yeah, it, it would be better if he does it in the dark versus on the live stream. I, I, yes, I would agree. I don't want to see it either. You know, so. Oh, no. But they say that's nasty, baby. That's nasty. <laughs> nasty. <laughs> Doing the nasty. So, uh, where is your your friend, Kangi? 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 The racist Kangi? Mm-hmm. Uh, this ass ain't allowed. Yeah, I would I would boot him off. I wish he'd come on, because then I could boot him off. You know, I mean, uh, I don't know. You know, I haven't heard from him since I saw him on that one, one live stream ex- explaining how we were all basically uh, jerkwads or assholes or whatever he called us. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, he was trying to explain that to like, somebody. So, you know, who knows? We have 13 lurkers. Yeah, we got some workers. We always get some people hanging out. But uh, yeah, I don't know where he is. He's maybe uh I don't know if he ever saw his the video. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Of his his open mic session, but I'm sure he doesn't think anybody did that he did anything wrong, and that uh, you know we're all just too sensitive. Right. So. But that's okay. The Canadian was here earlier, and James okay. is here earlier. So the Baconator boy was here. Kiko mm. called him a hoe. Patty <laughs> <laughs> says that uh, she had a question the other night when we were out walking the other night. I had a question the other night when we were, well, what was the question? We can answer it. Remember, we're the smartest people in the world. All the beauties are in the dark. Yeah. Beauties in the dark, darling. And, uh, oh, is that still that there. We caught him out. He's just a working. I have a thing, Kiko. Kiko, I think. Oh, I can't freaking. Oh, the bacon is still here. Yeah, he's just a working, he's busy. He's a working man. Making that bacon. No, I can't so, uh, put him in timeout. <laughs> nah, he ain't the kangaroo. Yeah, he hasn't done anything wrong. So, but Scotty, what question was it that she had for you the other night? He won't, you know, the Kangi won't come out and play because the Kangi <laughs> is truly one of those cowards. That's straight up actually, A-ho. He, right, he's a he's a coward, um, is what he is. He's pathetic. Yeah, I'm gonna call him some names. He's a pathetic racist <laughs> coward. 
You know, mm-hmm. I did hear that his wife won the Golden Knee Pad Awards the other day for her outstanding work on the street corner. Uh, <laughs> Damn. I guess I she, you. you know, she doesn't need to find. Uh, I'm getting dizzy. I'm getting dizzy, Scotty. I'm getting dizzy. But we can all relate to this. Scotty says that she asked if we could, if we had stars in the sky in the United States also. It's all, it's all AI. Um, now, and I'm not going to pick on the Filipinas, the Filipino people, because remember... I, I had international students with me my whole entire teaching career. And and you won't believe how many times questions like this came up that they never thought about that this is a global thing, you know. So it's not surprising that she would ask this. Oh, ah, yeah. The backward, see, you're not an idiot because you can pronounce it backwards. But the good thing about the Golden Knee Pad Award was that, uh, that you know, his wife wouldn't need to be buying any face, face cream anytime soon. And I got a feeling she knows what the recipe to the secret sauce was. <laughs> no. So. <laughs> And, uh, and uh, you know, you know we, love his wife. we we love his wife, you know, um, just like everybody loves his wife. And I'm sure there'll be, uh, be ten billion and more are coming. Okay, I'll throw out some some trash. Scotty's dropping his link. Last I night I was eating in the dark down here, and just eating some chips and stuff. It's like okay. The, the Philippine version of Fritos. Yes. I couldn't find my little chip clip thing or the little clip I used to close bags. So I'm scrounging around the table and I found this. Well, that works. Yeah, your oxygen meter? Yep. Reza was ah. laughing her ass off about that. I'm like, yeah, yeah. ghetto as hell, but it works. And I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna have to look at that video, Scotty. So hang on a second. I'm gonna pop it up here in a different window. Let it run through here to get to the video. And Scotty's talking about the answer that he gave. Here, find Streamyard again. Oh, get a keyboard. Yeah, Kiko's right. Say no, darling. That's because the Earth is a flat. Don't you know? It's flat. Uh, all right, Scotty, I'm going to try to. Are you okay if I play this, Scotty? I'm going to I'm gonna play a part of Scotty's uh, video. Are you okay with that, Scotty? I mean, figure out how to do it. Welcome to our channel, Lean and Scott in the Philippines. How are you, everyone? Hello, everybody. So today, Miss mm-hmm. Lynn wanted to interview me. Yeah. So Miss Lynn is going to interview me and ask me hard questions about the Philippines. Yeah, because you are been here in already five weeks, right? Yeah, coming up from five weeks. So, what can you say, or how <laughs> do you feel? And like example, you stay here in five weeks. Well, I feel fine. I mean, mm-hmm. I've had my ups and downs just like everybody else probably has, getting used to the weather, getting used to the food, getting used to the, you know, the shopping and everything like that. So, you know, it's just getting adjusted just like anybody else. But 
Okay, so we're going to scoot it down towards the end. But Scotty, I'm going to tell you, you know, Ronald told me that you're a really ugly guy. You're not that ugly. I never said that ugly. I'm not going to starve to death. I know that. Uh, um, but the, so, is, what other question you got for me? Uh, We're at uh, 20 minutes already. That's done. Almost done. <laughs> yeah. So, what's what's uh, what other question you got for me? Uh, no more now. No more. Uh, so I guess that's about it for now. Uh, we'll check back in another month or so. If I, I'm going to stay another month, I don't know. Mm-hmm. She might kick me out before then. She gets, no. She gets American headaches right here and stuff. Mm-hmm. But she had a question for me the other day, and I thought, you know, you can ask you can ask them guys the question. What's the question about that? Do we have stars in the United States? <laughs> <laughs> we were walking at, at night and what? looking up at the stars, and she said, oh, do you guys have stars in the United States? Because during the time, it's so, a nice, uh, it's so, nice a sky, and then this. So everybody from other countries, go ahead and put in the comment, do you have stars at night in your country? Let Lynn know, because she, she thinks only stars are above the Philippines. So anyway, it's just a, it's just a funny thing. Don't, don't give her a hard time. We're just joking about it. But we appreciate everybody stopping by. I thank Lynn for the interview. Uh, it's always fun, to, always fun to do. We just, we've been, she's been busy and I've been busy doing other things so mm-hmm. we'll, we'll get together on this channel as much as we possibly can uh-huh. so yeah. thank, you, honey. thank you thank you thank you so much all oh good job scotty yeah 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 but but like i said i mean i don't know kiko you know he's been married nah. long, but, uh, your wife back in the had to have some questions that were because i know even lorelei who's extremely smart and short very sharp had some some humdingers of questions about the elect our electricity and the water you know and things like that so what they say out of the mouths of babes both times of gems <laughs> well it took Lorelai almost two years before she would unplug anything here or plug it yeah. in you know. <laughs> so she wouldn't touch the electrical here. She still doesn't drink the water. And I had to buy her a bottle of water. I can't that blame is, her for that. Yep, that's a Jack's Flat Earth Eclipse. It's flat, baby. <laughs> I saw that the other day when we were outside enjoying the eclipse. Mm-hmm. I like it. I like it. I like it. I do. So, yeah, you, you'd be amazed some of the stuff that they kind of come up with, you know, but uh, you, we, yeah. we, we had a thing literally from the Philippines this week uh, where, and we're still having this issue. Lorelai has a relative who's in the Philippines. She just moved back to the Philippines from another country, she's married to a foreigner, so but not an American, and um, she's been really worried and concerned that Lorelai and Lorelai's sister, who teaches in Chicago, is going to have three days of no sun in America what? because the, the eclipse was going to stop. and 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 I'm not joking; this has become an issue. <laughs> where Lorelai has tried to explain to her, you know, how it really is, and the fact, because she believes that the eclipse is going to cover the entire America, North America, and Mexico, and be there for three days. And she got really upset the other day when she saw that we were going to have a live stream during the solar eclipse and started to give Lorelai some some shit, you know, getting really frantic about, hey, you know, why are you doing that? It's so risky. You may die. It's like, oh. Wow. And, um,
why are you sending your ex-wife money? You still love her? Who? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. One of the dumb questions, right? Not understanding about child support and alimony. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But, yeah. you know, there's a hint of truth in what old girl was saying. Now, if you believe the Bible, the Bible says what? Well, well a thousand years to God is what? One day? And the, uh, so the eclipse. Now, if you were to go back and do the math, how many? It was only what? Four <coughs> minutes, right? Mm hmm And four times six is what? 24. So that was a whole day. That that eclipse passed. Te yeah. Technically, with God, it was one day. Right. But she failed to realize that we trapped in the matrix, and there has never been an Earth eclipse. Yeah, Earth ain't oh, never eclipsed stuff because it's half a planet. That the matrix is the matrix is working well enough that that was not going to be a major glitch. Nope. Matrix. Scotty says her next question is uh, how you know how does Scotty know how to use a broom because she doesn't think we have well hey look Scotty that one I understand when I was dating Lorelai um, she saw it one time I was vacuuming and she's like well why don't you sweep and I told her I said because it's carpet and she's like you don't have brooms in America and I said <laughs> why would we not have brooms you know. <laughs> I remember that was years and years ago. And you know, the question is, do we have stars? She could have kept her mouth quiet and thought about it. If sure. there's only one sun and we get sun here, how come we don't get stars too? You know what I mean? It's just that easy to yeah. think about. But I, it's an honest question because she, you know, she ain't never been out of her country. No, and I agree, and, and that's what I mean. I don't want to pick on them for it because there are, and we know so many, and, and we've talked to so many people from other countries that they, you know, like I said, I've had international students in my office my entire teaching career, and they were still shocked that America wasn't like Hollywood, you know, mm. that it really wasn't like Hollywood, that we were all weren't carrying guns, you right. know, and... You know, drinking beer and carrying guns, riding horses, driving fancy fast cars, you know, shooting up, you know, I'm telling you. And so I get it. I get it. Yeah. And all the stiff field, the, uh, the stereotype for blacks, we are all bad. They that's just, right. That's what they see. Left-handed broom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what they left handed see. broom. <laughs> it's like, it's like I, I heard in Italy, like you see the nice pictures and stuff. You know, on the internet or TV, whatever, Italy, but the rest of it's just straight trash. Yeah, I've been there. I was in Rome for about, what? I was in Rome for about seven days. And, uh, you know, this was before they had finished repairing the Colosseum. So we couldn't go in. They are all scaffolding and everything. So we just stayed near the hotel and we just went to the disco party. But they kept us in the cleanest area around the Coliseum you could ever think of. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what oh, you funny. How funny. I was looking at the Little Dipper, so she thought I was looking at stars because I'd never seen them before. Now, I will say one thing, it, it is dark in the Philippines. Compared to the United States, when it's midnight or 1 a.m., it is dark in the Philippines. Yeah, it's it's out. I'm yeah. telling you, even, even, especially when the lights out. I mean, one light is, you can see it's pitch. Well, that's what I mean. You you turn the street lights if there's any, the hotel lights. You know, when when it goes dark in the Providence or out in the areas, it is dark in the Philippines, mm -hmm. and you can see stars like you've never seen before. So I kind of get that correlation, right? You know, looking up, Scotty's looking up, going, wow, check these out. And she goes, <laughs> dumb American doesn't have any stars in America. <laughs> it's kind of cute that she asked that question, because it it's rare 
you know, you get an honest woman and she asks an honest question, but you try one of these bar girls and shit, they know everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. They all they're already hip. So you can't you can't phase them and they already got their lifestyle adjusted to what they gonna be. So well bar, bar girls do know everything because they've been with everybody. Just as yeah. just as Amy's wife, you know. Look at her, look at her, girl. She got she got England running down her leg, Germany, France. <laughs> no, there's a United Nations in, inside the bar girl, you know. Yeah, that yeah. whole rock box is an encyclopedia. <laughs> that brown that, that brown guy's all messed up. Yeah. But it I is bet you, I it bet is. you her coochie can speak 17 languages. <laughs> and, and it comes with a warning, right? In, in multiple languages. Right, right, right. You can't get this out of Rosetta Stone. No, no Edith. <laughs> no Edith here. So, uh, no, no Edith. Nowhere there, there, boy. Man, no, oh, but you got to feel bad for the bar girls. Yeah, they, they got a tough man. That's a hard dollar. That's like being a boxer. Kigo says he can't even see his little dipper anymore. It's been years. Well, oh boy. Kigo, stop well, lying. <laughs> yeah, now stop I, lying. You've never been able to see your little dipper. I know. Why, why are you trying to fool people? You ha you must have had a brisk. <laughs> yeah, you know, Scotty, you know, and I'm going to tell you, because um, we've all been kind of where you're at. And it's a lot of fun to be with them in the early days when you get to explore and explain things and show them things and do things that they've never seen. You know, um, and I know this, I don't know how to say this without being arrogant, but it does seem like most American men or most first world men, we, we see something new we are impressed by it or hey that's pretty cool but it doesn't shock or surprise us so it is really kind of fun when you take you know your new filipina and you get to show her peanut butter and jelly sandwich which lorelei won't eat because she thinks it's disgusting <laughs> yeah because that's our western arrogance that won't <laughs> won't allow us to be surprised <clears throat> yeah arrogance is a good word yeah you I, think know, like maybe like a, I think it was maybe 10, nine years ago, something like that. I bought some shrimp, peeled, deveined them, took all, you know, shells off of it. So it's just shrimp. And I marinated them and I put them on a stick and I put them on the grill. My aunt comes up. She's like, what is that? What tree? You never seen shrimp on a stick? Now they put the rat on the stick. Right. The intestines and. <laughs> yeah, they put everything else on the stick. What the difference? Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. You see yeah. that that video of, like, I think it's in Vietnam, uh, Reza said last night. Um, it's a cow vagina. It's a delicacy. I'm like, dude, no, no. Just because it's there, you don't have to eat it. I, I, man, I know. I told I was talking to Dr. David earlier about those rats in Vietnam. They are delicacy. They, 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 they skin them. They knock them in the head with a rock. And they take the feathers off of them, whatever the hell is on them, and then they freeze them and they ship them all over Vietnam. <laughs> you know, go to New York and get some of those uh, city rats. No, That's see, true. now you can't have a New York rat because then. Yeah, the subway gonna charge you a fee. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty yeah. says that he made he made her a root beer float for the first time the other day. I did that with Lorelai, and she's like, "God, you people here in America eat too much damn sugar." And I'm like, "Wait a minute, have you what? Have you uh, uh, no floats? You know, she thinks our stuff is sweet. You know, like, are you crazy? You gotta be on drugs." Mm. I can run through the list, you know. Yeah. Hollow, hollow. Well, the yeah. only thing that ain't too sweet, I give them, uh, uh, the only one I know is that electric flag. It's not too sweet. 
I remember, yes, uh, remember, I don't remember how long Lorelai had been here and hadn't been very long, but I had a whole bunch of money in the safe and I needed to get some of it in the bank. And, and I know it was probably 20 or 30 grand in there. And, mm-hmm. and I had to get it into the bank because it's been in the safe for way too long. And I remember taking it out and telling her, well, we're going to run by the bank and I need to deposit some of this. I had to break it up in small, small amounts under 10 grand because I didn't want any red right. flags, you know. So, and I, and I explained this to her and her eyes were just gigantic because coming from the Philippines, you know, 30,000 USD is, is just an extremely large amount of money. So I, I remember that. I remember that. Mm-hmm. And lost that mind. That's over a mil. <laughs> yeah. You know, so. But uh, she caught on pretty quick. <laughs> I know she will, but that USD ain't nothing to play with, baby. <laughs> are, 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 you, are you a drug dealer? <laughs> no, yeah, right. Where you hiding all that meth? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Who says I'm hiding it? You know, I have uh-huh. an email account, you know. <laughs> But uh, I, I keep telling people, you guys would be shocked if you knew who I really was in my past. But, no. you know, so. Well, I just I still find it, you know, amazing that some of these women they ain't seen the simplest things that we seen. I mean, and it just blew my mind. You know, because I was eating fried chicken with my hands. I'm like, you got called a what? Filipino, because I'm eating with my hands. Like no, yeah. that's done all over the world on us. Some, yeah. I don't know. Some white people eat fried chicken with a knife and a fork. fork. Yeah, here is a spoon, a spoon and a fork. Spoon and a fork. Yeah, but in regular in the Western world, it's a knife and a fork. Mm-hmm. You know, as a cautionary yeah. tale, we there's a lot of things that the Filipino women or the Philippine culture does. That, that doesn't suit well with the, the first world nations, the first worlds, right? But what I, Scotty, and this is maybe for you being new, it, even if you guys ever come to the U.S., you know, you don't want the woman, the Filipina or whoever you marry when you come to the U.S. to become too Americanized. It's, it's vital, you know, Lorelai's to the point where she would never want to live in the Philippines again. She likes to go visit. But we work, I work really hard to, to have her keep her heritage, to keep her culture, so that she doesn't become too Americanized. That's something I think is really important. Right? Scotty's going to give her some homemade popsicles. Hmm. You sure yeah. she wants mm. a popsicle, buddy? Well, okay. you know, they call them ice candy. Yeah. yeah. Or a go go. A go go. Kiko oh, says, oh, good night baby. to you, my sweet darlings. Bye, darling. Say hi to Mrs. Kiko. Kiko. Good night, Edith. <laughs> we appreciate you as always, Kiko. We'll see you next Thursday. And try not to fall off that flat earth. That's right. right. <laughs> and don't forget your manscaping. <laughs> <laughs> If the Earth is flat and there's zero gravity, if you're a manscape, won't that be flying everywhere? It depends on how you shave it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got exactly. a shot back? Oh, yeah, you got to have a shot back. You got a, got a floby out? All right. <laughs> well, and Scotty, um, one thing Jack and I were talking about the other day that you'll come to realize and see and here's some advice we're going to give you is when they leave food out on the table, do not eat it hours later. Just tell yeah. them I'm oh. good. It's okay. Yeah. They not, are used to leaving the food out. Not Please all the food. food. You'll end up, I'm sorry, you'll end up in the You'll end up in the hospital. You'll be rolling around in bed feeling you just want to die. Don't drink the tap water. I think well, Tony if you, did that. If you, if you work with that, it, it, oh, he was yeah. like, well, I don't know why my stomach's hurting all the time. I'm like, stop drinking the tap water, dude. Yeah. That idiot. Yeah, I had to break Lorelai of that habit. When we first got married, I, I had a breaker of that. I explained to her, we don't do that. We have a refrigerator for a reason, you know, so. And I use a filter for the tap water here. 
Hasta la vista, baby! So that's that's one of the bad things, is the food being left out of room temperature. But they're well, used they're, to they're, Keeps it furry. It does. It makes shit grow mm -hmm. on it. No, not the vinegar-based stuff. Yeah, you just walk away from it. And that's what you yeah, got to do, so. Scotty, is just go, you know, I, I think I'm okay. You guys go ahead. I mean, but yeah, some of the food, I mean, the only dish, if if you got some adobo laying around, it got vinegar base, you're good because that vinegar won't let nothing grow in it. If you got those cucumbers sitting on the dish with the vinegar and pepper, they ain't going to be their own problem. Ain't nothing going to bother that. You can eat them all day. I don't trust things around here. Wait, well, 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 Ronald, we'll let you do that. <laughs> oh, I've been, uh, hey, Ronald, tell us a story about when you bought a washing a washing machine for your wife. Uh -huh. What wife? <laughs> I ain't got no wife. I'm telling you, I was married to my ex for thirteen the one, years. The, the one, the one that uh, always asked me about you. Oh, Jonah. Oh, yeah, we was kicking it then. Everything was gravy. I was supposed to be living with her. You know, I'm setting shit up. I'm setting up shop. So the washing machine, shit, I bought her father in them a washing machine, too. Yeah, you know I mean? And? Or the, and? How did she use it? Oh, these dumbasses, they wash the clothes by hand, then throw the clothes in the washing machine. <laughs> I'm like, huh? What? 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 So, uh, what? So, if I buy you an oven, you're gonna cook the shit on the stove and then put it in the oven? Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. Crazy man, this is crazy. But like I was saying, I was married to my last wife 13 years. I had both Nana and Papa here with me. We make a dobo. Or the pickle, the uh, vinegar and cucumbers on the table. Oh, I leave her sit right there. Next day, boom. Day after that, and boom. Nobody got sick. Yeah, you the, you'll definitely get a lot of ants in the Philippines. Oh, I would yeah. make, and my drugs should be coated in ants and like. Yeah, but you know, that's a simple cure for that now. Yeah. This is baking soda. Yeah, and the whole trash thing, right, is a big deal too. For was a big deal for me, to be honest. Um, maybe I'm a little bit of a neat freak, but the the trash everywhere really depressed me. It wasn't so much the trash for me; it was the brothers, you know, just standing on the edge of the porch pissing. That what got me. Bathroom yeah. right there. Yeah. And the one's taking a shit out in public, yeah. I'm mm. like, dude, you ain't. <laughs> Good night, Baconator. Good night, Sir Dennis. Yeah. Thank you for visiting. We appreciate you, my friend. And the diapers, just whatever, you know. Just... Mm. The one that got me, I told him, I told Jonah, when I get there, y'all better have a toilet seat. You know, I didn't know they had to put both feet up on the damn stool and then squat. Oh, hell yeah. I, I swear if, it goes, if it goes somewhere, like out in public, like I went to a, the mall when I was supposed to buy here. I had it really bad. There was no toilet paper in the stall. No. It was the, the big giant roll of toilet paper was right at the sink. I'm like, oh, I had to get up before I pinched it out and and go out and get some tissue from uh, a girl at the time and go back in. And there's no seat. It's like all no. ripped up. There's holes for it. It's probably from people just, oh, we'll put the seat down and squat on the thing and probably just broke it that way. Right. There ain't never been a seat on it. It was always porcelain. You yep. step on both feet and squat. Or even that one for like call for little one little basin for like little kids. I'm like, really? Well, at least it's higher than the ones in 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 Europe. Yeah, you know, it's just a hole in the floor. 
<laughs> I, I said one of those little basin things for kids, or I guess I don't know what they're for. But that was like up in the freaking mountains and shit. But uh, it was like an outhouse, but just plastic around it that barely hit anything. And you had to pump it under water to get it up the hill to fill the garbage can and flush the toilet. But I'm squatting on this thing. I'm just sitting on the thing. I'm. This is like so much pain. I don't know how people do it. Scotty doesn't have a toilet seat either. <laughs> So we, we all that have been there can relate to that, Scotty. I'm but telling yeah, you. I'd rather, I'd rather go in a in a five gallon bucket or something. You know, I saw a thing on the History Channel today. I think it was about toilets. Believe it or not, the history of toilets and how uh, one of the first kings, one of the ways the king would be assassinated was the enemy. Would come up the poop chute and stab him. Oh man, <laughs> that's oh, that was one. Job. Yeah, that's one shitty job. Yeah, <laughs> is that what happened to Elvis? No, he just. I don't know what happened over Elvis, but he was on the shitter when it happened. Mm -hmm. That's the story. I ended up falling off the. The shitter. What? Yeah, a couple of years ago. Like the first time I was in the hospital for like a month. Oh, yeah. I w w woke up in the shower. <laughs> I'm like, oh boy. I fell off of one at the hospital too, believe it or not. When I was out of my coma, they, they put me in a, a, a step down room and it was in the middle of the night. And I still hadn't got the uh, muscles working right in my legs and my body yet from being, you know, in a coma. And um, I tried to go to the bathroom by myself like at 1 a.m. Fucking wiped out in the bathroom. So I crawled my oh. ass back to the bed. And, and, you know. No toilet paper? Nope. You got to buy toilet paper and carry it with you. Buy the wet mm -hmm. wipes, buy all that stuff. And um, when we're there, that's what Lorelai does. She always carries a, a backpack of supplies that I might need. Uh, so, uh, you know, a towel to wipe the sweat, some water. You know, she, she does a really good job when we're there of taking a, a survival pack for her, her fat American, you know. Well, he was a shitty assassin. That's right. A shitty assassin. Yep. <laughs> And could you imagine the infection you would get if somebody was, was you know, where the, so, you know, his little toilet was here and it was at the edge of the castle and they would come down this chamber, a poop chute, and they would sneak up in there with a long uh, stick with an arrowhead on it and ram him when he was on the toilet. So, uh, you know, you can imagine how infected and nasty that was. Is that uh, Harry Potter in a Chamber of Secrets? <coughs> it might be. I don't know. <laughs> Harry Potter. You know, but uh, but I saw something on the History Channel today about toilets. made me think of that. And they were talking about how the more advanced toilet for the, the not the kings, but the rich people, they would have their own bucket there's, there is a, uh, like a place where you sit, where everybody sits, you know, one after the other, everybody's there, community toilets, and they had a trough out front, and they had these sponges, and so when you were done, you were supposed to be good, and use that sponge and that water to rinse down your area, but it was the same sponge water that the next guy used, or the last guy used, and everybody used. Mm. Cruising is fun anytime. Hey, how are you? Hello. Hello to everybody. How are you doing, Cruising? We haven't seen you in a while. So uh, we hope you're doing very well. You probably, uh, uh, having a good time, been on any cruises lately? We, uh, we had Love Boat was on earlier tonight visiting. If you don't know their channel, or maybe you do. So uh, maybe you never know. But uh, yeah, 
So, Scotty, that's one thing you can do is take yourself a kit with you, a travel kit. Yeah, have your little backpack or bag or something. Yeah. I mean, that's what take, Lorelai does. She just does it automatically. Take some TP and some 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 <coughs> some bikes. Yep. Some water so you can rinse your hands off if you need to. Just whatever she thinks we might need. Um, Filipino women are really, really good about them. They're really good at thinking ahead, you know. Yeah, thinking when you got to go through the head. And that's it. <laughs> Scotty says they have toilet paper at the Robinson Mall right when you walk into the bathroom versus at the stalls, right? Did I miss it? So I had it pass and they pointed it out. They're like, dumb American. It's right there. Mm -hmm. Where do you think it was going to be, dumb American? It's right there. It's where it belongs, you know. What I always worried about was <laughs> there's a video out there <laughs> of some guy at a festival in Europe, right? A music festival. And whether he's drunk or not, I don't know. But they had these bathrooms of these long troughs, right? And, and it's where everybody's peeing. But he goes in there and washes his hands. So at a lot of the restaurants in the Philippines, a lot of the malls and places, they got community sinks that look like troughs. <laughs> so every time I go. see one, I go, huh? Ah. Um, when I went to the Incheon Airport, I went. I used a, the crapper, and uh, this is what I sat on. I hit, I hit, I hit uh, share. I've been there. It's got that yeah. plastic, you know, it just self cycles or whatever. I'm like, what the? So you don't have to wipe the thing. You just sit on it and yeah. you're done, flushes and renews it. I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. Jack, did you see, uh, uh, I don't know, I guess I don't know what part of the airport you was in in Incheon, but they got this thing right there when you go in there to the stall. And they got like a coffee machine right there at the door. Uh, that's the last place I want to have coffee. I know, yeah. right? <laughs> Cruising in ain't fun is probably thinking, oh my lord, what kind of live stream did I stumble in upon now? You coming right. to the real deal, holy field. Ain't nobody fake up in here. And she's thinking, holy smoking crap. I think I'm at the wrong place. These guys are crazy. I'm talking about the crappy. <laughs> now you come to the right place. <laughs> now I will say because you know they 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 have a cruising channel, which is a really good channel. Uh, we cruise, and one thing I will say, I'm impressed by the toilets on cruise ships. <laughs> like, Until they back up and starts running down the hall. Mm. Yeah, well, that's when the cruise ship line just dumps it in the ocean. And pretends nobody's watching. Hey, that's how we do it on the ship. <laughs> but yeah, oh, Scotty, yeah. just just do that. Have have the uh, your beautiful new Filipina, you know, put together a little travel kit, and uh, you know, you'll be in great shape for wandering the Philippines. Maybe, so that's that's our recommendation, right, gentlemen? That's right. Yep. But you'll have a lot of fun in the Philippines, Scotty. I, I know you will. Um, are you are you thinking at this point, you've been there five weeks, and I know you plan on staying permanently, but is there has there been any doubt coming to your mind that maybe you ought to bring her to America? Or are you just, you know, where are you at in your mind about, that right now at five weeks in. No, she's too innocent for America. Don't don't keep your money in your pockets. Yeah. You got to carry like a man purse or a backpack in the front. Well, I was told don't take nothing but the money you're going to spend. For the day. Mm -hmm. 
As anyway. long as you as long as you can lock it up safely at your house, because it will disappear out of your house. Yeah, I changed some locks yesterday. Oh. Says, so far, so good. No, no, no bringing to the America. Nope. Or you could do it this way, chat. Go down to the local sorry, sorry store, get you a chocolate bar, and, and, and your, your, your worst whitey, tidy, tidy whiteys, and then melt that chocolate and smear that shit inside the underwear, and then put your money in there. Ain't nobody gonna touch it. Mmm. Chew up some uh, peanuts and put it in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, get some corn. Oh, yeah. I just bought some corn. Here we go. Yeah, that corn. You get some corn up in there. They're like, hey, touch touching these draws. All your well, money. Right there. Tickle, tickling bones in this? Yeah. All your, your money. Scott, you said, yeah, using a fanny pack. They got some, you know, if you go to Robinson's Mall or you go to any of the malls from Korea and in, in China, they got these really cool men's shoulder bags that you wear here. So they're shaped differently, but they're really designed because, you know, the Asian men really wear these man bags, man purses. I don't know what you call them. Right? More like kept trying to get me one, but I just couldn't do it. So, but those are really actually pretty cool. Because everything's up front where you can protect it versus a backpack in the back. I have, I have two of them. And those man bags... Yeah, the one I don't carry is the leather one because that thing is it's heavy. And that thing is about six K. Ouch. I'll I'll wear the one that's light and that's uh hundred and twenty five peso that I bought off the street. Yeah. Mm. Actually I'll get that one. I'll, I'll bring them both in. Right the one. The one I used when I was there, I had no problem with it, Scotty. It was just a little simple little pack, you know. I put him on. Ain't nobody know I'm holding it. But I got yeah. my little I got my little uh coins and stuff in here for the military. You know, you gotta have your the coins or you'll buy the beer. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have carried my I didn't I didn't carry my passport in this. I just had my debit card and the money I was carrying, but I didn't even need to bring the debit card. And I had my phone just in case, but you don't even need to bring a phone. Just bring the money that you're going to spend. That's all you need. Yep. That's all I would do. When I go back, that's what I'm going to do. With I don't need all that extra stuff. So here's what, what they sell a lot there are versions of this. Yeah, all that's the, just that yeah, for the, all your toilet paper and stuff like that there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything if you especially if you're gonna be gone for the whole day, it's actually not a bad thing. Right, but then again, what you eating? Are you gonna shit twice a day on the street? Yeah. You don't you don't do that in, 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 in at home. No, no. But Scotty says I'm in the big city, so it's kind of crazy there. I know we were we you know when we go there, we're in Cebu City, Mandawi City, Mactan Island, that's where we we or she calls home. So I'm telling you, um crowded, smelly, stinky, hot, polluted, you name it, it is what it is. It is the Philippines. I'm in the big city too. I'm in Angeles. Yeah. So you got to be on guard. Yeah, it depends mm -hmm. on how much you plan to travel around. I agree. And that's the thing. If you're going to be gone for the whole day and you know it, act accordingly. It's just smart. It makes your life easier. It makes being it, in the Philippines more enjoyable. If you see somebody try to rob you, yeah, yeah, take, take it. That's it. I ain't got no more. They're going to take off with it. Not, yeah. I ain't got nothing else to give you. No, no fancy watches, none of that. No. But Scotty, what here's your what you really need to be careful of. The jealousy. Don't Bye. 
by by the woman by by your Filipina. Yeah. The yeah. jealousy. You 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 do have other jealousy issues. You know the people around you are going to be people around her are going to be jealous of her because she has you. But if you look at another Filipina, you're gonna you know you're, you're, yeah you're gonna feel the. No, I don't. She, she, when somebody like her asks, do we have stars here? Mm -hmm. No, she ain't like that. Right. Well, that's good. I don't think so. Because 99% of the Filipinos that I know, woo wee, holy smoking crap. Mm hmm. He says they stay home most of the time. Same here. I'm a homebody. Like I do here. I mean, here. Me too. Me too. You know, uh, but yeah, just enjoy your time. Have a great time there, you know, and uh, I encourage you to take some trips and do some things, Scotty. But, uh, you know, uh, man, it can be a little tricky, but it's, it seems like you're adapting very well. Scotty, just like us, he old school. He know what to do. He does. He old school. You got to have this, baby. Whenever you can. Get plenty of this. Coconut water? Yes, sir. It's got all the nutrients and vitamins, magnesium, potassium. You won't get no cramps. It's a good de a good hydrator and lowers your blood pressure, lowers your blood sugar, all that good stuff. How many calories per serving? Um, 70. What about sugars? Added or not? No, this is all naturally sweet from the coconut. That buco yeah. juice is is a wonder. Oh, uh, maybe I'll try some. You see all those zero? You see all those zeros? That's what you want. Scotty says she did get a little jealous at the girl at the sorry sorry store who asked about me. So she kept an eye on her. Yeah, I'm telling you. Just for a minute, but she wasn't really, you know, concerned. Here we go. Coconut water. What about sodium? See, that's what Jack has, a man bag. Mm-hmm. Caterpillar. Caterpillar man bag. Jack be, taking a, Jack be taking a lot of shits. <laughs> <laughs> How's your coconut water when it comes to uh, sodium, Ronald? Let me peep. Let me let me let me zoom in on it first. Hold on. And this is the yeah, four percent. Okay, four percent. Yeah. Yeah, that's the kind that Lorelai kept wanting to buy me, and, and they're cheap, like twenty dollars, and they're good quality. You know, this I is, mean, is this one six k? Like one hundred twenty bucks. Yeah. yeah. Cheese and crackers. What kind of toilet paper are you using? He's a rich boy. I know. Yeah. He's, got fancy, uh, he's yeah. got a fancy shirt and he has fancy glasses. Scotty said he just had a glass of fresh coconut water. Yeah. Fancy broken glasses. Man, that sucks. Oh. I, I didn't buy that man first. My mom was like, you want a new bag? You want a new bag? You like this one? I'm like, Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> Laura like kept wanting me to buy one, but I just, and I think they're cool, but I don't know. I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't think, I didn't think I would use it enough. Now, here in the United States, if I was riding a motorcycle a lot, I think I would invest in one because, you know, you could take what you need and, and have some freedom, so... Well, I've been drinking some uh, V8 juice in a metal can every morning for the last few months. And it has 50 calories, no sodium, no added sugars. It's supposed to be energy. And it's made out of green tea, black tea, with a little bit of fruit juice in it. So it's really good, but I'm getting a little bored of it. So maybe this weekend when I go to Walmart, I'll get some coconut water and try to drink that to give me a substitute. I, I went to a friend's house and his drunk stepdad is like, You guys want pizza? I'm like, We're like, sure. Okay, I'll make some. He made the pizza. It came out actually pretty good. The 
sauce was straight out V out of, out of a can. I'm like, really? Mm. Mm. That's that's some hood stuff right there. I highly recommend yeah. that coconut water. I mean, out the green coconut is even better because it ain't lined up with the lined up inside the carton with the plastic lining. None of that. Straight. Yeah, I'll, I'll you'll, buy be, some you'll, you'll be I'm surprised how some. how hydrating it is. You'll be like, damn. And you're getting all the good shit. Vitamin K, magnesium, magnesium, potassium. Poop. Yeah, we, uh, we don't drink soda anymore. So, you know, water and tea is about all we drink, except for every morning I drink a little can of uh, green tea and juice mm. mix. V8, uh, a V8 uh, juice thing. I swear by it. Well, at least it's not that that apple cider vinegar. <laughs> no, but see, see how how cloudy it is. This is because yep. it, it was in that carton. But the real buco juice is just clearer than water. Yes, I've had that in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. and I've had it in Aruba and, and other places. So I, I, it doesn't have a lot of taste. But that's all right. You're not looking for the you taste. You're looking for the. It makes you run back and forth to the bathroom. Yeah, if you drink too much of it, you're going to. But that's what it's for. I mean, I it, don't feel it, like it. It like will prevent. If you drink, if you drink a regular water or tap water, and you get older, you're going to develop some stones. This will remove them stones. Right. It'll kill those free radicals that's running around in your body when you're stressed out. Yeah. Look at me. <sighs> <The phone line>. <laughs> <laughs> so Scotty Filipina is four foot nine inches, so she can <laughs> climb the coconut tree easy. I, I know that right. Body. Put her to work. Yeah, I used to think they could climb the tree tree, but you know they got little notches. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying you dirty rat. I thought you was getting it done. No, they're cheaters. They're cheaters. I see the, I see the guy in Jamaica. <clears throat> Picking dude, he climbed this tree so fast that no, no notches, barefoot. I'm like, he ain't yeah. barefoot no more. Come on. One thing got yeah, my yeah, the bottom of his foot is crusty as hell. Yeah. Probably. Because he ain't feeling nothing. Mm-hmm. And in yeah. India, they got the machine. The guy get in a little buggy, and it goes up to the tree. You seen that yeah. yet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lazy bastards. I wouldn't want to eat anything in India. Sorry. No. No, but, but I do love Indian food. I think Indian food's really good. They nasty. Yeah, if, it's, they, if it's made in the U.S., where you got you know, I mean. big health and safety standards. Yeah, I mean, it's it's good. I like, you know, we have a, a good friend who lives in the Philippines that's from um, Pakistan. And man, even in the Philippines, he would cook it, so I know it is safe. In but Pakistan, it, ain't no better. It was some good eating, though. Woo -wee. I mean, it's nasty. They got their hands in everything. Yeah, well, it's the same thing about refrigeration, you know. Yeah, there ain't none of that. Yeah, it's kind of scary to see a woman a penne with a with a machete. Yeah, you gotta make sure she's in a happy mood. <laughs> you make sure she loves you. Mm. So all right, gentlemen. We've been on about two and a half hours. I'm gonna get off of here. And um, we will come back next Thursday, of course. So, I'm, think, I'm thinking of Dr. Dre's old, old CD, old album, The Chronic, Cannabis Sativa. <laughs> well, maybe for, you know, I've been studying on that. You know, I got a medical, medical uh, marijuana thing a long time ago, and it really didn't do anything for me. So I've been no. studying about what strains actually help with pain relief. So I may actually try it again down the road here. So uh, a, friend, a friend of mine, he sells it legally, little, yeah. little legal dope dealer, and it's all the edible, all, all kinds of stuff. He's got dispensaries, shops, and all that stuff. He's pretty rich, and he's like, oh, it's, it's my medicine. It's everybody's medicine. 
and he's he's living month to month pretty much like uh he's about to whiff mm-hmm. he's like stage four is his heart's getting ready to fail ouch Mm-mm-mm. yeah is that his medicine no it's not all right ladies all right Hey, appreciate right. you guys. We'll see you next Tuesday. Take it easy, Scotty. See you, Jack. Thursday, same time. Yeah. Sorry, guys. But of course. Anytime, Scotty. We appreciate you. We love hearing how you're doing and what you guys are doing there. And, uh, you know, so. I went to the, I went to your page and